All right, here we are. Time for some Resident Evil Rebirth. That's what we called it back in the day, 20 years ago, back <laughs> in 2003, the good old days. Oh my gosh, it really is 20 years old 20 then. 20 years ago. This is the 20th anniversary. And you played when it came out? Yeah, damn right. I still have my copy. <laughs> I like this new scene they added here. Kind of sets up the atmosphere. We actually haven't played this one in like a year or two. Uh, a long time. It has been a while. That's a long time for us. Resident Evil. This is the GameCube version. I like the added um, storyline with Lisa, Trevor, and stuff. Yeah. Huh. Which, should I do hard mode or easy or normal? Um, totally up to you. I guess I guess I'm a pretty I'm a pretty good Resident Evil uh, expert, so I guess I'll do the harder difficulty, and we'll play as Chris because I just did Jill not that long ago. Uh, I'll play the uh, the director's cut the original version. I haven't played Chris in a long time. I like Jill though. Jill's Alpha team Jill's awesome. Around the forest, so Plus those extra two inventory slots. City. Oh, they sure are nice. We're searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo team. Who disappeared during the this game blew my mind when I first played it in my GameCube. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. We have all of them on GameCube. All the Resident Evil games. Mm -hmm. That's how I played them for the longest time. This game was stuck in the GameCube for 10 years. You'd always play with a blanket over your lap because the <laughs> controller had this really, really bright blue light. I had a third-party Mad Cats controller, wireless, <laughs> and it was like, it lights, lights the whole room up. <laughs> What's Joseph's last name? Trivia time. Forest? No. Frost. I think. Frost. I think it's Frost. I don't think it's Forrester. We continued our Maybe I was thinking of Forrest, the other guy. Yeah, that's a different guy. Turned into a You're making me uh, question myself now. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe I think it's Frost. It is Frost. Ha ha. The model of uh, Jill, uh, her name's Julia Voth, and she still dresses up as Jill. Oh, I know, it's really cool. One of the few examples of the the face art, a face capture artist doing cosplay for the... Yeah. A lot of them don't care or even play the game. Mm-hmm. Run, Jill. I like his exposed spine. Oh, I know. It's so creepy. Yeah, definitely time to go. Dogs are a lot meaner in this version. In the old one, they just kind of fall on the ground. And you just, they're easy to kill. It's Not in this one. You almost feel kind of bad. Oh, in this one, yeah, they don't fall on the ground from the pistol anymore. They just keep on coming. Instruction manual they call Brad Chickenheart in the original. Game. That's mean. Chickenheart. <laughs> oh, you don't want to go in there. Uh, was it? Was it? Who was it in eight? And um, Final Fantasy eight, they kept calling you a chicken wuss. <laughs> that was Cipher. Cipher. Zell. Stars members left now. Chicken wuss. Captain Wesker. Jill and myself. We don't know where Barry is. Yeah, no one knows where Barry is. <laughs> He's an alcoholic. <laughs> is everyone all right? Barry. Where's Barry? Nice timing with the He's... lightning there. No. No. What was that? Well, she's a STARS member. She should know uh, what a gunshot out. sounds like. All right. <laughs> Jill and I will stay and secure this area. 
I remember when Jaime was playing on the, this Chris, scene when Barry and Jill break the door open. Take care. His GameCube, like, yeah. made a loud noise and, like, moved physically. Like, it went... Whoa. And, like, it never was right after that. I think that, like, the laser, like, blew itself oh, up. Oh, no. <laughs> this game just killed his GameCube. Well, um... I remember one time, I don't remember what game we were playing, but like you were in the middle, we were in the middle of playing a game and nudged my GameCube and it made a weird sound too, remember? Yeah, it's just, I don't know, those GameCubes are just... Like, don't touch them, don't even breathe on them yeah, if they, they're on. Yeah, no kidding. Don't need that yet. Bear with me, I haven't played this version on, on the GameCube in uh, a long time. I'm getting used to the controls. Ooh, chocolate for me. You didn't eat all your chocolate? Too much. Chocolate is good, but not too much. Got it all over my phone. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Such a great scene. As he, long as you don't have rewind and fast forward at the ready. <laughs> I forgot the run button, but he like missed me. <laughs> <laughs> you love to rewind and fast forward through that scene over and over. Oh, I love that, yeah. Oh, that chocolate went down the wrong pipe. Yeah, you don't get the two magazines off of uh, the legs on this version. You just get a videotape. Do you ever get to play it? Way later. Hmm. In, the, in the lab. Wesker? Wesker? Speaking of videotapes, you should play 7 and 8 again. Yeah, that would be fun. Where did they I never go? played it on YouTube. <laughs> I don't do ADR. <laughs> I don't do ADR. I would, I would love to. I'm trying to, I'm getting to that point. I just love the original so much. I like how they made it the samurai edge. In this version. It doesn't say that right there, but it is. Was it a different version in the original? Yeah, it was just a normal black gun. Mm. But in the Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, they call it the Samurai Edge. Cool. You can see it right there, barely see it. Oh, yep, Samurai Edge. Yep. M9. Pretty cool. Okay, for Chris, we want to go back where we came from. Because they added a new hallway in this version. Where the dead body was. Kenneth. Oh, cool. Kenneth Baker, right? Hmm, let's see. I think it's Kenneth Baker. I'm, I'm a big Resident Evil uh, fan, so let's see if my information's correct. Zombies should be north. Should be safe to go. It's the film that belonged to Kenneth. I need a video player to see what's recorded on it. Doesn't say his last name right there, but I'm pretty sure it's Baker. It is not. What? Kenneth J. Sullivan. Sullivan, that's right. There's a Baker somewhere in Resident Evil Universe. The Bakers. The Bakers. <laughs> and they weren't backwards. It's a bad egg. <laughs> there is some herbs there, but we are Chris and we are limited of inventory, <laughs> so we're gonna keep on going. The game tells you that it's nice in this game. It tells you if it's been fully explored or not. It turns red. Or oh, not yeah. red. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Not red. Not red. <laughs> we'll leave the herbs there. And we're going to try to avoid the people here. I love when you look things up on the wiki, like the things that people know about this game and how do they know this? Yeah. Apparently, Kenneth put his knowledge as a chemist to good use. He had a gentle personality, had a hobby with dog training, and was enthusiastic about landscape gardening. <laughs> <laughs> oh crap, I had the opportunity and I messed up. Oh. I, I, messed, I messed up the opportunity. He grabbed me and missed, and that's your chance to run past him. Now, we are playing with tank controls. The, the new version's easier because you can kind of just don't, you don't have tank controls in that one? Mm-hmm. 
defense item, which is cool. That's a new feature. Oh, I was, love the defense items in this one. Yeah. We're not going to push that, push that statue over just yet. Come back later. Don't feel like it. I have beaten this one one time, I believe, as Jill. But I'm pretty sure I had rewind. You cheated. I did. This whole area is new. Yeah, this is not hard mode. This is like normal mode. Hard mode has like multiple zombies out here, I think. Mm-hmm. So do you try not to kill them because of the crimson head thing? You just try to dodge? Uh, it depends on my mood. You rarely come out here, so it's okay if they turn that crimson head out here. Hurry up. I think there's a, a shotgun ammo <laughs> out there. I love hearing the zombie noises with our new headphones. Oh no. Book of the Curse. I don't know if I want to read Book of Curse. Yeah. Huh. I got the matching key. The four masks. A mask that speaks no evil. Smells no evil. Sees no evil. A mask that cannot speak, smell, or see evil. That's the Helen Keller mask. <laughs> <When all I'm laughs> the Helen Keller mask. <laughs> <sighs> I'm almost 40. I'm a dad. So you will hear dad jokes. I'm yep. so sorry. <laughs> sorry, I mean, last of my chocolate. <laughs> I made a mess. Got two zombies out here. I wonder if I can knife them. Save some ammo. Go for it. I'm still learning the controls on GameCube here. It's a little weird. I remember you talking to our friend Jaime the other day and he said he had done a knife run of Code Veronica and that game is hard even with all your ammo. Yeah. They're not coming close. Yeah, they're, they're, uh, they're not. Come here. <laughs> they're not close enough. Mm -mm. Come here. Over here. <laughs> oh, I got one. I got him. <laughs> I sliced his hand. You slashed his arm a bit. <laughs> if I can get at the very top here. Not too close. There we go. Now we're getting him. <laughs> <laughs> would you call this cheesing? Oh, no, I would not. Because I don't like that phrase. It sounds gross. Are we cheesing them, honey? No. <laughs> Come here, I got some cheese for you. Ew. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Oh, yeah. Three hits that time. <laughs> this this uh, takes patience here. Uh, yeah. Can you imagine beating the whole game like this? Like this? It would take hours. I wouldn't beat the whole game like this. You crazy? <laughs> so Knife only. I like that Cupid back there. It's kind of cute. I loved the Cupids in Supernatural. How they always wanted a hug. And they wear a diaper. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah, that's how they say hello. You get used to it. The angels are annoyed. <laughs> like, ugh, oh, Cupid. And Lucifer killed one. I know, that was really mean. Lucifer's a dick. He could really be a dick, yeah. <laughs> Oh, look at that. I got hey, you. you got I one. got you. Ha -ha. Come here. I bet you've seen no one do this before. It's pathetic. 
But what, what, what can I say? Ammo is hard to come by, okay? He like turns around. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come here. Got him. <laughs> it wasn't my, uh, you know. Not your proudest Resident Evil no. moment. But hey, it worked. Did it not? It did. And yes, there is ammo. Now you see why I didn't pick up that herbs earlier. I'd have been out of room already. Yep. You're out of room even for, to get that arrowhead. If you look at your map, where's the map button on this one? Okay. Not red. Not red. Maps are useful on the rebirth. Mm-hmm. Wow, that took a while. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we have to. We have to look at the. Uh, what's it called? The key. It's a sword. If we go through the dog room hallway, we'll find a chest. You gotta love the dramatic door opening sequences in this game. A picture of a chubby woman? They replaced it. Now it's just an old photograph sits in a frame. Maybe this person was connected to the mansion somehow. Oh, not a chubby no, woman. No, not a chubby person. <laughs> in the original, it says that. You get a quick turnaround in this one. The back and... Oh, yeah. You know, just like that a nemesis. save your life. Yeah. They removed the step stool and replaced it with the dresser, dresser. which is smart. It makes more sense. Yeah. Map of the first floor. Okay, so this game came out after Code Veronica and yep. before 4... Yes, this came out in 2003, 2002-ish, ish, three ish around that. And Kovranka came out in 2000, and 4 came out around 2005. Oh, okay. You want to put this back here at the doorway because there's a zombie back there and you can trap him. It's a... I remember always killing that zombie with a survival tool. And that's a special door to get the costume. Yep. Hey, there wasn't a zombie in there. Uh, yet. They changed it. Even though I just there pushed that is. thing in there, yeah. I don't know where he came from. That's okay, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see if I can sneak past him. Do you feel him try to grab me here? Oh, there we go. Oh, I did it again. I did that again. That stupid quick turnaround screws yep. me up. I'm trying to back up real fast and get around, and I end up turning around. It happens to me every time. game's great. It's probably the best Resident Evil game there is. It is pretty awesome. Yeah. I don't know if I have room for anything. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, is if it's a survival knife, yeah. There's a knife and magazine in here this time around. Cool. But the knife, the defensive, defensive items are not stored with the rest of the stuff. Thank goodness. And the dogs don't pop out just yet, like in the original. They they take a minute. Now isn't it daggers for him and hand grenades for Jill? He gets he gets. Or do they both get both? They both get daggers, but she gets the little stun gun, and he gets the like, flash grenades, and he shoves it in their mouth, which is way cooler. Yeah, it's so cool. Yeah. And if you shoot it, it just their head blows up. <laughs> Hers is cool too, but his is way cooler. Yeah, definitely. Hey, Chris. There used to be an herb there in the original version. I uh, need a small... Lockpick. It's called old key now for him. I probably You're should... not the master of unlocking. I, <laughs> I probably shouldn't go here yet, though, because I'm out of inventory space. My room had a weird sound effect going. Is that the sound of the fan? I don't know. It's like buzzing? Yeah. Yeah, we're out of room. We need to go to the chest first before we do anything else. It, being in that room reminded me of watching Chuck on Better Call Saul when he was like afraid of electricity. And, oh, like, yeah. He could hear it everywhere and feel it everywhere. That's kind of scary. I felt bad for him. <laughs> I felt bad for him, too. That's, That's a bad scary. mental problem to have. You're, you can't go anywhere. You can't do anything. That's a, that a very sad story. I need to take him out. He's going to be a pain in my ass. Yep. 
Ugh, I keep doing that button. The map button's R1. It's really weird. The shoulder button, you know? Uh huh. This is the first time I fired my gun. I took him down already? Wow. Chris, you're the man. Oh, he's still alive. It's gonna take With a minute. With a dagger in his head. Yeah, so it's gonna take a minute to get used to these controls. I like yeah, it's still sticking out of his head. That's so funny. <laughs> we need to burn his body soon. Yes. That's a bad. But he starts a he starts with a lighter though, so that helps. Right? We have a lighter, yeah. don't we? We need that right there. So let's put the shotgun shells up and ink ribbon. Oh, look combines at combines automatically. Look at that. Even better, right? Yes. We'll put our survival knife there. Keep the key. But first we'll burn the body. We'll burn all the bodies. In the we want this whole area clear because we'll be going through here a ton. Yeah. There's something else flashing in there. Is that a note on the ground? Yeah, there's a note. That's about burning the bodies. Oh, yeah. It says, special instructions when disposing dead bodies. We have new information regarding those beans. They may appear to be dead, but in fact they are able to come back to life. However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Incineration, a destruction of the head. If further methods are discovered, they'll be notified immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, to those who of you are still have the will to live, oil has been placed on the first floor of the mansion. Take as much as you need. You'll need something to light it with. <laughs> you have to find that yourself. For those of you that still have a will to live, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Is it the light? Maybe it's a, oh, oh, okay. Old key. The, the typewriter there was also go. flashing. Yeah, we refilled it. I think we're good in here. Let's put the O-key up for now. Go burn that guy. Is this room clear? Which one's the map? Is it R1? R1. Or I guess, what do you, what do you call it? Z? Do you call it Z on the GameCube? Yeah. GameCube buttons are a little strange. I can't tell you how many times I've burned a body and like not got out of the way fast enough and hurt myself. Uh, if you just like, if you just hold back, you should be able to get out of the way. Just do that. And that's what I've always done. It seems the safest way to do it. And we have one more, two more, maybe two more zombies upstairs. It's no longer a loading screen, which is kind of cool. Oh, that is cool. I also like how on the map it shows the doors that you haven't unlocked yet. Yeah. They're still red. So that helps me a lot because I get turned around. Yeah, it does. Oh, jeez. Like, I just wouldn't go down. Mm -mm. Shit. They're uh, slightly faster in this version. In the original, it feels like I could take them down easier. There's one of them still hanging in there. Is that one? All right, there nice. we go. Is there a button to reload on this one, or do you still have to go to the menu? Menu or just run out of ammo. Oh. And he'll reload it. Two and one? Is hey. It, is it two and one? I think you did. I think you got them both. Sure. Does it work that way? I didn't know if that worked that way or not. I don't know. I mean, it looks like you got them both. We'll refill it and see what happens. That would be cool. I mean, you did a good job of, like, laying them right on top of each other. That is a strategy, I guess, is to kind of kill them on Round top of each other. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Save on fuel. But I don't know if it works that way. We'll see. That's actually kind of new. I had never done that before. Let me see if I can research it. Well, we're about to find out. I googled, can you burn two bodies at once? And I made sure to put Resident yeah. Evil at the end. Yeah, they're both gone. Look at that. That worked. Nice. Did you hear me? Yeah. <laughs> that actually is really cool. I did not know you could do that. Um, yes. Um, if you wish to make your fuel more efficient, you can time it so that the bodies fall on top of each other huh. and burn more than one at a time. That is really neat. That is really cool. I did not know that. <laughs> there is more bodies, zombies up here, so we'll take them out because this is a hallway I like to go down a lot not a hallway hallway you want to really just have them alive yeah oh 
Oh, nice. I popped his head. You won't need to burn him. Damn right. Look at that. That was good. Get the dog whistle in here, I think, right? Maybe. Not the herb? Chemical? Uh, no. Not the chemical. Not in here. Handgun magazine. They used to call it clips. Which annoyed you so much. Oh, yeah. There's the dog whistle. Nice. Today, Sir Spencer told me to hide something where no one could find it. Well, I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal like the vicious canine that lives there, no one would be able to get near it. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and you'd ought to come running at the sound of the dog whistle. Th this is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near that damn dog without risking a serious mauling, which means only you can push the collar on, put the collar on him. The object that Sir Spencer once hidden is concealed inside. You're the only person I can trust with this, of course. You'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you always wanted to get a hold of? Well, in exchange for the services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us. John Tolman. That is the, uh, the um, what's it called? The fake key? The mim um, I forgot what the word they use. It's the fake master key you put in there so you don't get ran over by the oh, statues. Oh, yeah, yeah. It is well known fact that there exists. A th is that right? It's supposed to be exists. That's with I was, an I was, S at the end. I'm sure I was reading that right. <laughs> fact that there exists many plants that, oops, are like credited with medicinal healing powers. Since ancient times, mankind has been healing wounds and diseases using various plants. In this book, we will sample three herbs. <sighs> Excuse me. That are native of the Arkley Mountains and briefly outline each of their uh, medicinal qualities. Each herb has a distinct color and a distinct medical, medicinal quality. The green herb recovers physical strength. The blue herb neutralizes natural toxins. However, the red herb has no real effect by itself. We have found that mixing green and red herbs result in a magnified effect. We will outline the effects of red herbs when mixed with other herbs when we have more data. Meanwhile, feel free to experiment on your own, for true knowledge is best acquired through your own experience. Which, as you and I both know, that's about it. There's yeah, right. Because if you mix like a blue and a red all by itself, it's not going to do anything. You have to have a green. Yeah. Yeah, once you get used to controls and rebirth, you play the other Resident Evils and then you're confused again. <laughs> I bet. And then you play four and it's completely different controls. Oh, I love four so much, man. VR four is the best, dude. It's so good. Highly recommend playing the four VR. Guess we'll get the map while we're here. And when I first played this, I remember I didn't I didn't know what to do with that wooden board. I oh, never I, bet. I never used it. I never. Why would you put it above the fireplace and light it? You know, because <laughs> it's new. It's not from the original. Yeah. I never got the. I never found the magnum either. I was like, I'm gonna find the. Ma I kept on finding rounds. I was like, where the hell is the magnum? So I beat the whole game the very first time without it, without the magnum and without the second floor map. An unlit fireplace. Oh, I need to go in there and light it. Light it up. Light it up. Which makes more sense than the old one. You just light the fireplace and you get a map somehow. Right. This makes sense. Yeah, who knows? There is herbs here, but once again, you're full. We're Chris, <laughs> and we come back to the mansion later on, which is way harder. The hunters aren't as bad as they were in the original. Well, that's nice. They don't have a tendency to randomly leap up and cut your head off when you have full health. That's happened to me. Yeah, it happened to all of us. Swipe and there goes and your head. you're dead. But being as we are Chris, we're going to have to go back to the chest already. So I hope you don't guys don't mind that because <laughs> that's, that's just how Chris does things. Somebody give him that pouch you get in Resident Evil 2 where you can carry two extra Oh, items. yeah. The fanny pack. <laughs> the fanny pack. Yeah, you're right. Uh, there is one more zombie up there. So I got, ugh. oh well, I guess we'll have to, probably should have killed the zombie first, I'm sorry. That's okay. I miss Barry, but Rebecca is so cute. <laughs> who doesn't like, who doesn't like Rebecca? Seriously. Right. I like how Wesker had like a creepy high school picture of her I know. on his desk. What's up with that? I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> <sighs> Keep hitting that button. 
I'll be hitting that button the entire game. You watch. He's getting close. He's still alive. Well, that guy died pretty, pretty easily. Yeah. Is he dead? Yep. So let's burn the body. We've done a really good job so far with managing the crimson heads. Mm -hmm. Let's back away slowly here. See? Dead, dead. Dead, dead. It's locked. We have to go out there and... Um, we have one more room for this. Which room is that? Hmm. Do you remember? Um, uh, what about, like, above, like, where the statue is that you push off and the blue thing falls off? Above the dining room? Above the dining room? Maybe. No, well. Was that it? That's the It didn't one. let you discard it. Oh, okay. I think you're right, though. I think you're... Onto something there. We need we need to go out there and use a dog whistle, but I want to find the last door. It's locked. Armor. Everything's armor. It might be on the other side. I think you're right. It might be over here in the second floor where the statue is. That's what I was thinking. There is a room over here, but I think that's locked from the outside. Yeah. I play the original more than the rebirth remake version, so I'm just like a little bit confused. Let's go ahead and take care of him, I guess. That statue has boobs. In the original, it's just a block. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I ran out oh, of defense weapons. Oh, you're out of defense weapons. I ran out of ammo. Bad time. Oh, oh. look at that. That's what you get, man. <laughs> I wonder if it does have boobs. <laughs> There's also boobs in that one book. When you're solving the puzzle. Oh, yeah. On the, yeah. The white books. Yeah. Or red books. I always like that puzzle. It's fun, and you get to see some boobs. It's a win-win. <laughs> it's a win-win. We'll see if I'm right, if it's that door right there. You're right. Hey. Yeah, we still got I more, I don't know though. how in the world I remembered that. What about that door that was next to it? We already came out that door. That's oh. the room, with, that's the hallway with all the zombies. Oh, okay. So we'll have to use old the old key. key. Do these zombies still puke on you? No, there's just one. He does puke on the... They, they puke on the stairway. But I don't think they puke when they're not on the stairway. <laughs> <laughs> he, needs a, he needs to see a doctor. He's not, oh, there's a crimson head right there. Oh, yeah, there. you should have burned him. I will. Do I have any fuel left? Mm-hmm. Just one charge. I don't have any, uh, nothing to pick up here. Let's see. Nope. I guess we'll burn him. Why not? We have a zombie hanging around, though. Wait, no, no. following me. <laughs> I think whenever um, I got to that same room it, when I played the director's cut the other day, um, oh, I like shot that zombie with like a grenade launcher, remember? Yeah, <laughs> totally did. <laughs> oh. Shit. Dude, that was not... Uh, yeah, now you're hurt. Oh, I'm Ooh, really hurt. Really hurt. So both doors are locked. Yeah, I forgot where. Huh. You could pull up your map. Maybe we could see. Maybe that would help us. I've picked up no herbs, so I have to use that. It's okay. Fuck it. We need the old key and the dog whistle. We'll put the key up for now. Because we're going out there to get the stuff. Okay. It might be that room with the statues that spin and they, they, they uh 
kill you and you put the mimic key down. I think it might be that room. Mm. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, indeed. <laughs> the dogs are mean, but I think there's like a, a bunch of herbs out there that you can heal with. So it's not the end of the world. You haven't saved yet, just so you know. I know. There is herbs. I should be okay. Dying would suck, though. I'm not going to lie. It would. You got this. Uh, do I? I'm a little scared. <laughs> Shit. I like the noises I make when they run around. I better check my health. Right, we're I'm still, still good. in green. Light green. I'll use the herb real quick. <laughs> oh, geez. Tactical herb use. Yes. Ah. How about that for a dodge? That was nice. Good job. Which one? Is it this one? Yeah. Yeah. I better save. I think I think you're onto something there. A switch. That's no coin. <laughs> imitation. It's key, imitation yes. key. That's what I was thinking of earlier. Now we can open the door from this side. Oh, yeah, the one that said it was locked from the other side. Yeah. There we go. Probably don't need this anymore. We do have a problem, though. We'll need that. We'll need the, um, that key. So if, I, if my theory is correct, we'll need to open that door back there to get to the place to use the imitation key. You need your sword key? Yeah. Yeah. So we might have to go get that again. And save. I shouldn't have put the key up. I haven't played this game in so long, and my groove's all wrong. Yeah, you're right. I probably should save. That would be smart. Yeah, you've been playing for 45 minutes, so I would. That zombie's gonna be um, a pain in my ass. But ammo's rare. <laughs> <laughs> he's just gonna have to. He's our puking buddy. He's just gonna puke on us every time we walk by him. That's okay. <laughs> doesn't bother me. Does it bother you? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. So we get the key back out. And then we'll take our ink ribbon. See, you're getting low on ammo already, and I've been dodging a lot of zombies. Yeah, you have. Chris. Yay. My favorite room right there, the drug room. The drug room. Oh, yeah. I need a drug room in our house. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the drug room and get me some drugs. <laughs> Why don't you save the data while you're in there? I'm feeling kind of down. Can you go to the drug room for yeah, me? Go to the drug room. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, he's kind of mean when you exit that way. I might know. I might want to take care of him pretty soon. But we need that shotgun. Is what we need. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we need to go. Um. Let's go the safe way. It's longer, yes, but it's safer. Let's go back to the beginning and go down the hallway. Because if you go that way, you have two zombies and possibly a crimson head you have to run through. We don't want to do that. No, you're not. Don't have enough ammo. No. We can check the bottom floor hallway here to see if that door opens anything. But I mean the key, but I don't, I don't think they're... I think all the stuff down here is the armor key. But let me check just to be on the safe side. It'll be this door. Yeah, it's not it. Helmet. I, yeah, I'm I was pretty, thinking that was helmet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the right way to go. I like how if you don't play it for like four years. It's like all new. It's all new again. <laughs> Especially if you play a director's cut, like a range mode, and they put all the stuff in different areas. Oh, man. I've never played a range mode. I get really I'd be confused. so lost. You probably don't have enough room to get that blue jewel. Huh? Nah, we'll get it later. Yeah. Or Chris. 
you know, we haven't played seven and eight in a couple of years either. That's going to be all new. Yeah. I love when you fight. Um, what's his name? Mr. Baker. I forgot his the name. The Bakers. The Bakers. Yeah. Yeah. With his chainsaw. They're fun. Yeah. Maybe not as fun as the original, but they're, they sure are fun. It's fun. Yeah. We'll have to like stop what we're doing and like go pick up all the herbs around the house. <laughs> <laughs> Herb run. Herb run. That's what people say when they go to a dispensary. <laughs> <laughs> go to the drug room. Do we have any? Oh, we have no fuel. He's probably about to. Yeah, oh, he's, yep. he, he was. He's that was kind of unfair because he's like he was already dead. Yeah. You have to go out of your way to go burn him. Like as soon as you find the ladder or whatever, you might be able to go take care of him. Maybe. There's a door back here. Let's see if that's... Oh, maybe that's it. No. Nope. Oh. What door is Moment. it? Pull up your map. It might be in the hallway where the piano is. Oh, maybe. See that down there on the bottom left? Uh-huh. Might be that one. Maybe. Oh, I think it's the picture room. It's locked in this game. Where you saw the pictures? Oh. We didn't check that door. That's May whoever true. takes this emblem find peace and death. Hint, hint, it's about the floor. It's about the, I mean, the walls are about to come eat, kill you. The statue. Yep. I'm coming for you. I will put the imitation key. This is all new. Mm -hmm. This game like throws you curveballs if you're a fan of the original game. You think you know everything, but you really don't. It's the perfect remake. Yeah, you I mean you haven't even found the chemical yet, and that's like the first puzzle you do in the original. <laughs> yeah, but I love how they kept like the the game's atmosphere and gameplay the same. Yeah. I'm gonna grab this as I'm never coming back here besides going that rent room out there again. I think we're there's no, nothing else to get in here. Yeah, it's it's good. Thankfully the crimson head's like way down the hallway, so I never go down this hallway ever again. Oh, okay, good. So you don't even have to worry about him. No. You just go back there to go that one room that was locked, and that's it. With the helmet key. That's a long time. How much room do I have? Mm. One. Guess I can mix them. Yeah. There we go. We're done here now. We just need to find where that one room. And there wasn't out. anything in that birdcage? I thought there was supposed to be a magazine there, in there. We already got that a long time ago. Oh, okay. I mean, I always put bullets in the birdcage, you just don't? in case. You never know. <laughs> Weren't you going to go down that hallway and see if there was the key would go? Well, I think I think it's... I don't want to... There's a zombie there. I don't want to shoot it yet because I don't have my oil. Oh, okay. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be at the, the painting room. At the paintings. Is it from birth to death in this one or is it different? Uh, this one that you have to match the colors and like their necklaces and bracelets and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that. We're gonna go this way because the door like breaks if you. I forgot which way you have to go through. It'll break. Is it from the painting side? So maybe it's best we do go this way. Let's go ahead and unlock all the doors when we see them. But then, how will you remember which ones you've explored? Oh, I know. You should also examine that key so it doesn't just say mansion key. Should be the armor key, right? Yeah. We'll remember because the door, the rooms are already red, anyway. So you'll know that you know, you're missing something. Good point. Let's go ahead and grab that herb that's in here. 
that we forgot earlier. That way we just put them in the chest. Try to do a full Grab run. Grab as more. much as you can when you're on your way to the chest. Yeah. Our goal is to make all the rooms not rep. Yeah. Even though you don't really need it, but... It was... Did we already grab it in here? No, it's right there. Ah. We're out here. Can you open that door in there yet? No, that's when we come back to the mansion. Oh, okay. I thought there was a shotgun in there. That's on the first floor. Oh. We'll see if my theory is correct about it being in that picture room. Oh, look at that. I left some bullets in the room all right. I'll go ahead and look out for a way, a way out, Wesker. Thanks, Wesker. Which is near that. He didn't do that in the original. Yeah. All right, first things first. really need to find that last door. Mm-hmm. For inventory. No shotgun too, bad. And yes, I am a stickler for organization. Yes. So you will see that a lot in my videos. I got OCD. Okay, so let's try the door. There's gonna be a zombie out there, isn't there? You don't want to take some a canteen with you? I was about to say I probably should, because I think there's a zombie out here. I'll, I'll go ahead and take one. My bad, I'm sorry. You get to watch the, the sequence of the door opening all over again. <laughs> the fill here is probably almost empty. Oh, Not no. a single drop remains. Crap. The drug room didn't have a canteen uh, refiller, did it? No, it's on the other side of the mansion. And we can't get there yet. We have the door to unlock the door now. Yes. So if you go through this way, it's going to fall apart. Yep. I think you're allowed to en enter the other way. Yeah, there he is. We'll try to avoid him for now. That was armor key, though. Mm-hmm. What the, the hell? So you still haven't found the last use for the sword key? Yeah, what the hell door did I miss? Okay, remember Orange the bracelet, purple necklace, green crown. Bracelet needs to be orange. And that's wrong. That's right. That's right. That's right. Or white. Can you press it again? Because it needs to be orange. And it's an on off switch. I think we have to go on the other side and press it. It's different than the original. Oh. Let's see. No, there. it's orange. Should be good now. Or the birds will attack me. Nope, we're good. I oh, need an old key to unlock this door out here. It's a nice shortcut. But we don't have a we don't have a key on us. Need an old key. How much room do we have? None. None. <laughs> None. <laughs> you still need to find that last sword door. I mean, maybe it is down that hallway by the dining room, like maybe. where you find the Moonlight Sonata. Maybe it is. <clears throat> to save the doorknob, I'll go around. I think you're right. Darn it. We're newbies again. <laughs> <clears throat> but we'll figure it out. Maybe. Don't need that for a long time. Yeah. Look at this room I'm wasting here because all this crap I have to carry around. <laughs> Why does Chris need a whole inventory slot for a key? Oh, I know, right? Can't you just tuck it away in your underwear or something? <laughs> you gotta have a fanny pack on you somewhere. I 
think we can do this stuff in here real quick. I don't think there's a zombie in here, but we'll see. No. There's a red herb. It's nice and pleasant music. <sighs> that one's an old key, too. Jeez, man. The crisp playthrough is no joke. There's oh, one. look, an old key. That's convenient. Yeah. This room is so cool looking. Ink ribbons. I think there's a first aid spray on the other side of the bed. Oh, jeez. Full already. God, I know. <laughs> We're missing, um, we need an ink ribbon and we have a and the first aid spray. Full, oh my god, he needs that old key though. <laughs> you want to play as Chris, huh? But I guess if you were experienced, you would know that there's no zombie up here and put your gun away or something. Oh, and you can pick up that red herb now and combine and it. it, yeah. There's so many uh, inventory <laughs> trips with Chris. Yeah. So there. I'll go ahead. And, I guess we'll go ahead and grab this. Let's see what it is. First hit spray. That's a good one. And guess what? We have to come back again. Inside the room over there, I don't think there's. I don't think there's much. In there. Well, you should have opened the door at least so we could see. We had no space. Well, yeah, but we could look. But there's a death mask in there. Oh. It's my bad for having to haul around two keys. I totally forgot about where to, to use them all in the remake. Put this there. Try to keep it somewhat organized. No. There you go. <laughs> Maybe I should drop my item, but I think we have enough. I think we only have stuff for two spots. I think we'll be okay. Then we're done with this room. Don't have to worry about it anymore. I love that the remake, how everything looks. It's so. It is really cool. So spooky. I was thinking this was the bug room. It was. You need two spots for the puzzle. No. Read the report. There you go. There's a letter. June 3rd, 98. My dearest Ama, let me first apologize for not being able to call you. A man wearing sunglasses didn't permit any phone calls. Sorry. What's the Wesker? I see her trying to think of where to begin, of how to explain in a few simple words all that's happened in my life since we last spoke, and already I fell. I hope this letter finds you well, and that you will forgive the, tra the tangents of my pen. Hmm. This isn't easy for me. Even as I write, I can feel the simplest of concepts slipping away, lost to feelings of despair and confusion. But I have to tell you what's in my heart before I can rest. Alma, please believe that what I'm telling you is the truth. The entire story would take hours for me to tell you, and time is short, so I set these things as fact. Last month, there was an accident in the lab, and the virus we were studying leaked. All my colleagues were infected or dead or dying. And the nature of the disease is such that those still living have lost their senses. This virus robs its victim of their, of their humanity, forcing them in their sickness to seek out and destroy life. Even as I write these words, I can hear them pressing against my door like mindless, hungry animals. Oh, creepy. Alma, I have tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delay the inevitable. I am infected, and there is no cure for what will follow, except to end my life before I lose the only thing that separates me from them, my love for you. In an hour, I have entered my internal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. Poor same, Martin. Same name. 
as the original game. Yep. Is that is that the hook right there? So the hook does the hook does hook on the, the the this one or the other one? I think it's this one. I thought you just have to switch them. No. Yeah. Which ones has the hooks in them though? Well, see, I, I need room for the damn hook. Yeah, but don't you? Damn it! I didn't put, mean to do that. Like, put the other one in that slot, and then you can pick up the hook and put it on the gold. God, I hate Crystal's inventory space. We have to put one of them up. I'm pretty sure. Let's just get rid of that one to make room for the gold, and then I'll put the hook in it. There we go. Now, I think the I think this one goes in this one. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. Like, put the brown one in the other one, and then put the golden right there. Yeah. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Put it in first. <laughs> Maybe it has it. something to do with the specimens. <laughs> <laughs> You don't longer have to like lower the water and push it. How'd the bee come alive? <laughs> <laughs> Not the bees. Not the bees, you bitches. <laughs> okay, we're done there. And that unlocks the magnum. Yes. I think. I think so. That never found the first playthrough. And we have to get the first thing. Ribbon. Yeah. Ink ribbon, that's right. This is a very slow and meticulous game. It's for those who are patient. Oh, for sure. It's opening doors. I mean, the new generations, I don't know if they can get in a game like this. They see the, they'd see the door opening sequence and go, no, nah, I'm out. Can't Too do slow. it. Too, Too slow. slow. Yep. I can't see younger people playing like Final Fantasy XI and games like that. Either. No. They'd get too impatient. They're games of patience, for sure. Especially with how it used to be. Nowadays, it's not as bad. But the controls are not of this century, so. They're not of this century. <laughs> yeah. Very I, old school. I love walking around with my number pad. You be nice. <laughs> <laughs> you play it like really old school. <laughs> We're still hauling around with our two damn keys. Yeah, you better go to the Moonlight Sonata room. I'm just trying to think. Do we have no? Um, we have no old keys in here. Just to use that key up, I guess. But there's still another puzzle on the second floor we have to do before we leave. To get the shotgun. No. It's the room with the statues. It used to be gas. Oh, yeah. It just seemed like when I played the director's cut, I had the shotgun like a long time ago. Well, you'd probably play Jill. I did. And Barry saved you. Yeah. But we had to get the broken shotgun and we're... Already opened the door earlier. This one, I, I don't understand. I've never really understood the remake version. I just push shit at random until it works. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. I'm sure there's a simple solution. I have yet to find it. That one pushes that one. This one pushes... Did this one push that one back? Uh, you lost me. I lost myself. <laughs> it's like whenever I was doing the uh, Resident Evil um, director's cut and that green, that red light puzzle to get into the room to make V Jolt. Yeah. And you're like, just brute force it. And I was there for forever. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. See, eventually you figure it out. Yeah. Is that, is that, was that the most efficient way to do it? No, I don't know. 
Yeah, that one. Uh, it was a simple code. It was like one. It was like 309. 309. Something like really simple. <laughs> I've, my, my entire life, I've always brute forced it. <laughs> Just press you all know the buttons. What? I still will. <laughs> this is how I do things. I don't think you can do this box yet, can you? I don't want to press the switch. Sunshine will awaken me. Maybe you need the sun crest? Oh, is that where the crest? I don't remember. Goes into? Maybe. I guess we can go ahead and do the... We'll get the serum crap out of the way. I always kind of dread this part. Rebecca! You. Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard, what the hell happened to you? Chris, this place. Get your team out of here. Demons everywhere. Don't talk. He seems to have been bitten by a poisonous snake, but the size of the bite mark is huge. It's not just any ordinary snake. <laughs> Take my word for it. He needs serum. I left it in another room. I'll go get it. <laughs> Please hurry. Hold on. I miss the original cussing. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> when I played, I, I took forever to come back to him. Well, you totally forgot about him. <laughs> He's still hanging in there. Poor guy. We need to go... Uh, Downstairs? I guess this way, because that one door is probably still locked. Mm. This is the only way to go, I think. But it's, it should be safe besides the guy that pukes on the stairway. Mr. Puker. He's harmless. <laughs> oh god, we have a zombie coming uh -oh. in. Uh-oh. That door looked like it was fixing open. Yeah, we have a zombie coming in soon. Oh, that guy's- <laughs> that made me jump! The music? <laughs> yes! I know, right? It got all scary. It did. I'm scared. <laughs> My asshole puckered up right there. <laughs> oh, oh, thank goodness, we haven't had a butt update in so long. I <laughs> know. Oh, no, that's not right. That's a wind crest. You're supposed to use the sun crest. Oh. You goober? Stupid ass. <laughs> Serum. <laughs> Let's go find this fucking door. Well, I know it's we're, well. We're kind of right He's gonna area. die anyways. But. He's gonna. <laughs> well, I don't want to let her There's Becca no down. rush. <laughs> Becca would be so disappointed. Oh, there is. There, we can refill our canteen. Or not? Do we have an old key? Mm. I don't think so. Because mm. you, the last one you found, you used it to open the bug room. Oh, yeah. Well, hopefully no one f messes with me. I'm gonna go this way. We'll have to come back here later. Some tigers have a red eye, and some have a blue eye. Or sometimes a yellow eye if you <laughs> want to do it wrong. Sometimes a yellow eye. Drop some snakes <laughs> on your ass. Pop the head. Yeah! Yeah! yeah I I, I called it. I'm going to Vegas. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, that's armor, too. You know what? I think it's down here. Yeah, it's down here. I remember now. This door's locked down here now. Oh. Yeah. That, that always confuses me. Every freaking time. That's it. That was it. Every, I swear to God, every time I play this freaking game. Well, might as well go in it. Well, there's a zombie that pops up. and well, We're going that way anyways later. Oh, oh, it's in there's a dagger. Oh. We should be okay. And what about that door you just passed? That is for singing the 
not Moonlight singing. Sonata? Moonlight Sonata. You Relax can't... and play. Oh, you need the thing over the fireplace first. Yeah, well, let's go save Richard temporarily, and then we'll come back. I'm just happy I got that. Found that damn door. Oh, I forget it every time. Yep. It was not locked like that in the original. You can't do anything in there yet. Just find a defense dagger, and that's it. This mansion looks so cool. Mm-hmm. I wonder if they're gonna remake it again. A remake, a re-remake. <laughs> a reimagining. <laughs> oh God. That that word scares me. I know, right? We've seen what Square Enix is doing with their reimaginings. They make it like stupid. Hope this is what you wanted. Thank you. I'm gonna give you a shot now, Richard. Hang in there. Right in the butt. <laughs> Here. Take it. It's a radio. Take care of yourself, Rebecca. Aww. Richard. He's okay. He's just unconscious. Rebecca, it's can not safe it? here. <laughs> Let's get Richard to yes, a safe place. Yes, I can. Place. Right. Richard's doing well, Chris. He should recover soon. Good. Richard <laughs> needs you now. They get past the guy that burst in the staircase. As soon as Richard I guess gets so. better, we'll come after you. Rebecca, you okay with a gun? Yes. All right. I'm going to continue my investigation. Be careful. I love her uh, song okay. that came back. Mm -hmm. Rebecca's uh, save room music. Okay, is there anything? We need an old key, huh? The mm -hmm. broken shotgun. Where's it? Oh, and the broken key, and the damn old keys in the over there where the dogs are. Good God. And what about the zombie over here? We can play Ring Around the Rosie with him. <laughs> you totally did. Okay, what we'll do, we don't have the chemical either. Oh my god. We're gonna have to go past the dogs, get the old key in that one room, the bathroom. And then we're gonna have to go back here, get the broken shotgun, refill our canteen, get our shotgun. Oh man, we got a lot of things to do here. We're not out of this shithole yet. Nope. It's not over yet. Snake, it's not over yet, Snake. <laughs> Since you were guessing everyone's last names, what was Richard's? Aiken? Let's see. It is Aiken. Good oh, job. Oh, damn right. I still have it. <laughs> what about this room right here? On a personal Locked. level, Richard is described as being a positive, sweet guy. Yeah. He's surprisingly cool-headed and calm under pressure. He has a girlfriend named Bridget. How in the Bridget. world do people know these things? <laughs> I'm a big Resident Evil person. That must have been mentioned in, like, in a movie or something. I don't remember the... I don't know. Is that from like Zero or something? It is from Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles 2007. Oh, oh Umbrella Chronicles like introduced a vague reference to a Richard wrote her a letter explaining his reasons for joining stars. Mm. Oh. That's cool. That's an old fashioned lock too, but let's save our old key for the broken shotgun. Yes. We need a shotgun right, right like yesterday. And there's also a, a old key out there to the shortcut gate. Oh yeah. We need tons of keys. Now, in Jill's version, she, like, smashes his head for you, but I think Chris has to kill him himself. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Can you just leave? You could, but we need the key in there. Oh, yeah. Then we'll leave. He will bounce out of the door. He'll break it open eventually. Oh. 
But we need like two Okies at least. But priorities. We need our shotgun. Yep. The dogs may bust out now. Told you. Oh, crap. And they're so mean in this one. Oh, yeah. I love how they did that, though. They yeah. delayed it and just to scare you again. Yep. They're, they play with your head as a fan. Really cool. You'll see, you still hear that guy walking around in there. Do, 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 do. I, guess, I guess we can go ahead and put that in there since it's along the way. Oh, yeah. One of the tiger's eyes. Sometimes tigers have a blue eye. Sometimes a red eye, you know. That's right. This is just known information. <laughs> Common knowledge. I take like micro naps between door opening sequences. Just close your eyes, take a little nap. There you go. It helps. Help, help you recharge. Oh, this door's already opened. Oh, I don't want to go in there yet. Well, I guess we, well, there's two zombies that's going to pop up. The ammo's nice. Yeah, but we don't have the shotgun yet. In this game, can you pop their heads with a shotgun when you're really close? Does that not ha happen in this game? I, I thought so. I don't think that happens in this game. It's still like one shot them, I think, but I don't think their head pops anymore. It's very disappointing. It's probably because of the crimson head crap. They will. Oh they, yeah. You know, they don't want to make it too easy for you. Shotgun shells. That's weird. I think the last one was like a. It's a crest or something you get from the tiger. The red eye has a crest, doesn't Maybe. it, in this one? Because the in the original, the magnum is right there. Oh, really? But it, here, the magnum's outside, right? Mm. It's like a grave out by the grave. Yeah, it's outside. Yeah. yeah. On the way to like the guardhouse. Yeah. I remember. <laughs> I remember. Played poker tonight with Scott and <laughs> Elias from security and Steve from research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. What a scumbag. One of the higher ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up. It scared the crap out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one of those and he told me to put it on. Said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. I've been wearing this darn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The dang dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. <laughs> Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging them my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll have my head handed to me. Rumors going around that the researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? Fever gone but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. <laughs> itchy, itchy. Scott came ugly face so killed him. Tasty. <laughs> itchy, tasty. <laughs> My favorite. The famous note. What's up with that girl painting? I never noticed that before. No, me neither. She's wearing the outfit that Jennifer Grey wears in Dirty Dancing. The <laughs> jean shorts with that blue tank top. Yeah. Uh, what should I do here? Kill him. Uh, that's Shoot kinda, him! It's kind of close though. 
Yeah. Yeah, I kind of blew, my, blew myself up, though. Oh. Like, badly. Yeah, you did. Oh, dang. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, oh, dude. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Oh, good thing you're a master at this. <laughs> I blew myself up. I didn't know that could happen. Sorry. <laughs> did I get my shotgun shells? Yeah. Yeah, it does happen. But you tell me blow something up and I'll... Oh, my God, there's a zombie in there. Oh, no. Is this going to be it for a good old clay? I hope not. You can do this. <laughs> Dip and dodge. Dip and dodge. Oh, jeez. <gasps> One oh. shot. I'm not, playing, I'm not playing with him. No. Run away. I'm going to wait for him to get up. I'm wounded. Yeah, when you ran by the camera just now, you had, like, blood pouring out of you. Yeah, I blew myself up, man. Okay, there we go. Where's Pukey? He's upstairs. Okay. <laughs> we'll take care of them in here so we can have a safe area around the safe room. Maybe she can heal me. Oh, please heal me, Rebecca. Oh, that would be great. I blew myself up. Yes. Treat my wounds, baby. Yeah, would you? Would you stop blowing yourself up? <laughs> it, it was an accident. I was reading this itchy tasty thing and... I, I got, like, overzealous with the gun. Yeah. Umbrella? Don't you know? They're only the biggest taxpayers around here. They make most of these medicines right here. Homegrown in Raccoon City. But there's not much left, so take care of yourself. And stop blowing yourself up. <laughs> take care of yourself. <laughs> oh, my bad. Okay, now. Oh, just stop that. You need the canteen. Yeah. Might need to save it here soon. Mm-hmm. Coming for you, man. Just hang in there. Okay, first things first. And we have room for a few, th one thing. Ooh. We'll have to come back, huh? Wait, I thought the old key, how many old keys do we have? You had two. I had two? Yeah. Where did I find the other one? Well, one was in the bathtub. I don't, and I don't remember finding the I don't other remember one. you found the other one, but you had two when you went in there because I saw that. <laughs> That's weird. <laughs> I honestly don't remember having I thought I had one. I was like, I was confused. Like, where the hell did I find the other old key? So now we can open either the, the, the secret door outside, the shortcut, or the room that goes outside. We probably should see the room for outside because I think the chemicals out there. That's important. So we'll do, we'll save the key for that door by the dogs. Mm-hmm. Let's take care. Let's take care of old Pukey. <laughs> it's time for him to go. It's time for him just to meet his maker. <laughs> oh no! Come down here, Mr. Pukey. <laughs> oh, right in the head there! Look at that. Nice shot. That was a nice shot. You really have to work around these camera angles. Yeah. Oh, that's one. Pop the head. Is he still alive? No? I think we got him. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's refill our canteen. There we go. Now, this is the way to play the game right here. Mm -hmm. Careful. Not okay. blowing yourself okay. up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's not how you play the game. Yet. Don't blow your, don't blow yourself up. Ill advisable. And then we're done here. Oh no. Uh oh. We're full. Dang it. That's okay. We can come back. Yeah. Need to save. I mean, we need to go out there and get the chemical. So we have to go all the way back. 
But we kill all the bad guys. Uh, should be easy. Let me say hi to my uh, girlfriend in here real quick. <laughs> Just hanging out with family. Well, let's hang on to that. We need both, though, honestly. Not gonna save? I have to get the ink ribbon. And then I'll save with it. That works. And then we'll, we'll have to chart our, our next path. So we have to go outside where the dogs are. There's a lot of herbs out there. But we have, like, no space whatsoever. think how I'm gonna do this. I don't know if I would trust leaving all my crap behind. So we need the shotgun too. And if we go in and out in and out of that door too many times the doorknob falls off. There's not much in the way of zombies because we've cleared the whole area. Pretty much. I can probably put away some Amazon uh, ammo. Mm-hmm. I wanted to combine a magazine with ammo, and I did Amazine. And Amazine, yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. I got a lot of saves. Eleven. What happened? Are you okay? Oh. Want me to treat your wounds? I'm good. Nah. I'm not even hurt. <laughs> I haven't blown myself up yet. <laughs> We do have a Only your second save. Hold on. You're doing really good. We haven't died yet. Okay, we need a uh, need that. Need that too. We'll we'll put this sounds risky, but we're gonna put up our ammo for right now. Okay. I know. It should be okay though. I can't think of anything. We've we've killed everything. Pretty much. I heard a zombie. Is there another zombie upstairs? It sounded like. Because that door opened up? We burned the bodies, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we did. So it must be another one upstairs. So I guess the room's not clear up there. Guess not. The game does feel a slightly longer because there is some extra areas and extra mm -hmm. puzzles. You can beat the first one casually, four or a half hours around that. Oh, uh, yeah. This one's probably more like six. It was about an extra hour and a half of content. And if you play like me, it's even slower because I'm pretty meticulous. Mm -hmm. We don't want to go down the dogs, but there might not. we might have to, though. That might be a problem with the door handle. What about, we still have to do the thing out here. Oh, awesome. That was the last door. Nice. We just got to find that key to open up where the snake is, and then we pretty much are done with the mansion. I missed the bazooka, man. The grenade launcher. That weapon's awesome. We haven't found the damn shotgun yet. There should be an herb in the very far back, but I don't know. There's... You got force back there. It's Forrest from Bravo Team. There's a deep wounds all over his body. What could have torn him up like this? You have to make a decision. Do you want to run back there and get the herb? It'll wake him up, though. He'll come you don't need it. He'll come chasing after you. <laughs> We won't achieve our goal of uh, making all the rooms not red. Well, yeah. That's true. But I'm guessing. That was Jill. I haven't played Chris in a long time. Maybe it could be an old key. We'll come back with a shotgun. Just if we're like totally lost and don't know what we're doing. Well, 
Whoa. Oh, the scary music again. I forgot about that. <laughs> That's cool. They throw surprises at you. I, I like that. It's really neat. Please don't fall off. That might be the last time we can go through that way. I love how this game's already so hard and they just add another factor like that to make it even harder. Just to mess with us. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, we had that zombie in that room we walked in there too. He might pop out too. We're like an hour and a half in and we just now are getting the shotgun. Hey, another dagger. Nice. Those are handy. It is nice to give you that in this game. Will you take the shotgun? Sure. No, I don't want the shotgun. <laughs> it's overrated. Okay, I think this room's clear now. Nice. What a cool looking room. Mm hmm. Now we're going for the chemical. Oh, jeez, dude. This is no bueno. Oh, man. He walked right past him. Yeah, Thank he was... goodness. He was sudden... He had a, <laughs> had a small window there because his arms were down. Yeah. But this is no... Nice attention to detail. There's dogs everywhere. Oh, my God. Oh, things are bad. <laughs> There's the chemical. I'll make room for the herbs one way or another. I'm gonna go slow. Maybe I won't arouse their attention. Good boy. That's right. Slow and steady. Nice doggy. Oh, there's there's a oil out here. You can put out here if you um, need it for burning bodies. Is that it? Let's see. Yeah, that's it. Good boy. Good boy. I come in peace. I got the run buddy, run button at the ready. I think if you walk, they leave you alone. Oh, good job. <laughs> Doesn't work that way in the original, though. They come at you. Mm-hmm. Should we get on the zombie, zombie hallway or the dog hallway? Ooh. There's so many zombies, though. Let's Dogs suck, but there's less of them. Yeah. I don't want to shoot them. They're really crappy in this one. Let me see if I run past them. Yeah, there we go. We gotta dip, duck, and dodge. A lot harder to dodge zombies. They grab you. The dogs are... Yeah, that's, that's probably the best course of action. I would think. We made, we made the right call. Okay, now we need to put the shotgun in. Oh, wait, no, we already did that. Mm -hmm. No, we put the chemical in. That's what I was thinking of. Do you need more room for herbs? Yes, but it's safer over here now. It's not safe over there anymore. I wouldn't go down the dogway ever again. The yeah. The door handle may break though. And we still have to do the whole piano thing. Both keys have been used. But I think now it's not a key there anymore for the herb. I think now it's just holding a, a death mask. Mm. What we need is to get the key to get the snake room, which is the the music upstairs where um, Kenneth was. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I'm full. Inventory's so full. Should I come back? Yeah. I guess I can come back. If I have to come back anyways, might as well grab what I can. Grab the death mask at least. Okay, 
tricky. This one's tricky. You have to make sure you do it the right way here. It's um the red thing. Not the green. Green goes the herbs. So red, right? Yeah. <laughs> Hope I'm right. Yeah, I think if you go green, you'll kill all your herbs. Yes. I remember that. You've done it before? Once. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. well, but sorry. I had rewind, so I just... Oh, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> JK. <laughs> How'd you have rewind? This game doesn't work with rewind. Um, I thought I did. You might have saved it. Maybe I just saved it and tried again. Yeah. Because I've seen the herbs get destroyed. Knowing you... He probably did. I probably did. I probably did too, because I remember that somehow. So I, I usually am almost out of ink ribbons. I save a lot because oh this game is scary. God. So if we want to get the herbs again, we're gonna have to fight our way through. Yep. You have a shotgun. Yeah. But I like to save my ammo. True. Oh man, they are throwing crap at me left and right. Rebecca, it's getting dangerous out there, sweetheart. <laughs> Don't go out there now. It's scary out there. Okay. And we have 20 minutes, just so you know. Really? Yes. Let's go ahead and mix these together here. Oops. Might as well. I'll go ahead and just... um. Go back there and get the herbs, I guess. And you might as well. Take it easy. You might need them later. Is that all the ammo I have? Yeah. Man. I know, like, for me, one of the hardest parts was when there's like chimeras and stuff, and I needed like all the herbs. <laughs> yeah. We need ammo too, though. Game feels harder than the original. I'll just give him a grenade. See if he likes that. Stand far back, though. <laughs> <laughs> I love when that happens. Oh, that never gets old. Did I leave enough room for me? I didn't, did I? I'm a dumbass. Well, I guess I left some room. I don't know if I have enough room for all of them, but if we combine them, we should be okay. Are they all green this time around? No red? And they look all green. I don't see any red. Yeah. You see you get like two red and three green. There we go. Are we clear? Yep. Awesome sauce. And guess what? You guessed it right. We're back going, going back to the atom crate. Of course. Just Chris things. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. So really what we need to do is go upstairs, get the musical notes, come back downstairs. Sh sh uh, swap the shields, emblems, and then play the song with Rebecca. Get the key, kill the snake, and go to Death Mask. Use Death Mask outside, fight the Crimson Head. And I think we're out of the mansion. Did you catch all that? Yep. We're doing pretty good on herbs. Ammo is okay, I guess, and we could be doing better, but. How long do we have? Um, about 18 minutes. Are you okay? Want me to treat your wounds? You're gonna talk to me every time like this? Bitch, I am green. I am good. Well, in that case, I'll, I'll, um, we'll go upstairs and get that thing real fast then. I think we have time. I bet you do. All right, challenge accepted. <laughs> you can do this. Is there a zombie up here? 
the one that came through that door, he might. I heard. He's over there. Heard him. He's, he's mm -hmm. out of the way. He's good. He's not hurting anybody. No biggie. I think later in that same spot, it's a hunter, right? Yeah. You need a lighter up here to light the candle, but since we already have a lighter, see, Jill would off. I'd usually forget that. Yep. I think you have to put the lighter in there or you won't be able to see the ammo to collect. It's too dark. Is that right? I think so. Do we have the shotgun on it? Yeah. Probably didn't need it. That's okay. I guess I could go put stuff up in the chest over here. Whoa. Forgot about him. Or, because they came out the door, right? Yeah. Oh, that's just mean. Oh. Pop his head. Pop it. Nope. So he's gonna be a crimson. I want to take care of him properly. I guess I could. Sometimes I get lazy though. I'm like, you know what? Screw it. You know. <laughs> I'll take my chances. Right. There's some herbs here as well. Oh, but the inventory. I know. We can mix them. Yeah. You're going to need to. And there's a zombie out here as well. There, there's not much handgun ammo. I always hide up here. That's that's the way I do, Dean. Oh. oh, oh. oh. One shot? Wow. Damn, Chris. I think he has a better shot, though, than Jill, huh? Yeah, it's like the gun is more powerful. There's the candle. I need that, for sure. An unlit candlestick. Used to be a magazine over there, but not anymore. Is there one on the table? No, we already we already got it. Oh. There might be a zombie back here. Let's be careful. Yep. Yep. Just hanging out. Hanging out with his family. <laughs> don't have to worry about him because I know I'll never, ever go back here again. No. I'm pretty sure if you don't light the candle, you can't even, like, move that dresser. It's like, it's too dark. Jeez, waste all my ammo, why don't you? Right? What a dick. I should have just dodged them instead, so I'm never coming back here. Are we done here? There's something here. Still. Did we miss something? Yeah, I thought there was something else on the table. I think you're right. I think it's right here. No. Like by the wine glass. Oh, you're right. Oh, see? There's two now. Yeah. That's how it was in the original, to too. Yeah. <laughs> they put it in the exact same spot. There's something out here, too. See that? It's red. Hmm. Is it an old key? Oh. Oh. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. Flash I never, grenade. For, I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot about that one, too. And you can't see it. No. Is that zombie not here anymore? Huh. I guess that that won't won't be a crimson head. I mean, we can kill him in one shot too. I mean, wow. And I hit him in the foot too. I mean, he must. <laughs> is that their weak spots? Their foot. It must be. <laughs> he just can't handle the pain. Just couldn't take it. The zombies out here is probably still here though. I'd recommend... Do I have any gas in that canteen? No. Mm -mm. Are there refill it? I mean, the gas tank said empty. But I mean, my... Uh, my Your uh, canteen might have, like, one use left. Surely I would have refilled it. It's not like me not to refill it when I'm in that area. Let's see. We'll need the musical notes eventually. Mm -hmm. We don't need the shotgun right now. It does have two. Cool.
we'll go burn the body and then I'll save and then we'll um finish when we get home. What are we doing okay. today? Um today we are just taking Zoe out to eat for her birthday and meeting your parents. Tomorrow we're gonna go over to their house and we're gonna have like a meat and cheese tray and snacks and play games for New Year's Eve. Cool. Not hanging out tonight? Uh no, because we're hanging out tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Makes sense. I'm off Monday. It's my last day off. I'm really sad. But honestly, I'm kind of wanting to get back in the groove. If you stay home for too long, you get kind of weird. At least I do. Is he not here anymore? Hmm. See that? Almost like he missed him. <laughs> or he's just... Can't see him. Maybe the bonus zombies can't be Crimson Heads. Bonus zombies? Yeah, because he came out in the hallway. He wasn't oh. originally going to be here. Because we already killed the two and took care of them. That's true. He's a bonus zombie. <laughs> I've never heard them called that, but sure. He's yeah. an extra zombie. An extra zombie. Just to drive you nuts. <laughs> so, I mean, I guess we're good there. Uh, all we have to do is go play the piano song. and. You've got enough time to play the piano. We've got 13 minutes. Do we really, though? I mean, That's up to you. It's in the other save room area. That should be okay. We should be okay. Uh, I don't want to go down this way, though. <laughs> There's like three zombies and plus two dogs. And we're missing an old key to open that shortcut out there. I wonder if it is where... Uh, what's his name is? Forest. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Because that's, that's the only old key we need left is to open that little shortcut. What's Forest's last name? Whitaker, no. <laughs> That's what I thought That's too. <laughs> Such an S. Spears? Spire? Spire. Spire. Damn, I'm good. You are good. Man. Let's see what it what the detail says about him. If we're playing by Resident Evil Je uh, Jeopardy, I might win. <laughs> yes. He was the Bravo Team Cybersecurity Supervisor. Cybersecurity? Yes. I thought he was a weapon specialist. And That's is Barry. also a marksman. Okay. Cyber he security. has a golden sword tattoo with crimson wings on his left upper bicep, and his driving skills were above average. <laughs> what? What's his favorite color? Does it have that too? Status deceased. <laughs> deceased. <laughs> oh my God. Who writes these? I love it. <laughs> nerds and I love it every second of it you nerds keep up keep at it man so the <laughs> the driving skills being above average that was from page 17 of the biohazard director's cut um thing the really? thing inside the game yeah the what's that called um huh? the little booklet inside the game instruction manual instruction manual on page 17 yeah <laughs> but only in the Japanese version Yes. Because in the American version, I read it and it didn't really say that. No, only in the Japanese biohazard version. Well, see, that's that's pretty cool that they found that. That is cool. Um, is there zombies back here? Yep. Oh, nice. Oh, very nice. Don't have to worry about him anymore. Every time you pop a head in this game... You don't have to worry about about him coming back as a crimson head. It is a glorious day. Mm -hmm. It's like an instant endorphin hit right in your right in your brain. <laughs> it feels so good. It does. An expensive looking grand piano. We have a piano, but it's an upright piano. We don't have a grand piano. No. We can't afford that. No. <laughs> Most people can't. I think a grand piano is like, what, 20000 just getting started? I think so. Okay, we can bind it. Should be the Moonlight Sonata. There's something red in here. Is it because of the door? There might be something over here. No. I guess we'll do this first and we'll free if it's still red we'll look around. <laughs> Is that the Moonlight Sonata? It's not even close. It's me, Chris. 
Rebecca. That sounded like Moonlight Sonata. How'd you know that? <laughs> Can you play? Can you play? Might be easier if you take those gloves off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they're uh, finger gloves. <laughs> oh, what was that? Oh, what was that? <laughs> My interpretation is off a little. Let me practice for a while. Why don't you say no? <laughs> that would be funny. You don't, you don't get the, <laughs> no. <laughs> but don't get too carried away. Oh, don't get too I carried won't. away? On the piano? I've always thought that you can hear in the hallway. And it gets quieter the farther away you go. Yeah. That is cool. I don't know how far away yet. I usually go out in the hallway and usually that's good enough. She's had enough time to practice. Yeah. We'll just go out here real fast and pop back in and then um, save and then go. Sounds good. I kind of nice playing the original original because the the remake remake where they redid this it's in widescreen now so the backgrounds are a little altered it kind of scans sometimes left and right because to fit the widescreen they kind of blew it up and like use ai i think to kind of enhance it a little bit uh-huh i'm not sure how they did it just feels better in full screen to me I think I got it. She's so excited. <laughs> I think I got it. Yeah. Relax and play. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> I want a room that opens up when I play the piano. That'd be cool. This is the hardest puzzle in the whole game right here. The switcheroo. <laughs> and that's the room with the herbs. That was kind of neat. I always thought that was cool too. They really now, thought since out the... you're... Go ahead. Since you're Chris, um, doesn't Rebecca make the V-Jolt for you when you get yeah, to that house? you can. If the paths are right. I think in the original, there's two paths you can do, and you may not be able to see her out there. Oh. If you tell her to stay back at the, at the mansion, she'll heal you, but then she won't help you make the V-Jolt. Oh, okay. 11 days. This is all brand new here. 11 days have passed arriving at the on the estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in the lab coat came with a plate of skimpy mill and said to me, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of the mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will only be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family, I hope they're all right. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. Aww. Oops. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to get out of this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed, my aunt was hospitalized just three days before. Jessica and Lisa said they, only, they were only going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coat said something like, most likely your family is already. I pray for their safety. Somehow I managed to get out of that room, but getting out of this mansion won't be easy. I have to get past all the booby traps. Tiger eyes, gold emblem... I have to try and remember for my own sake. Yeah, at least the storyline's all brand new. Mm -hmm. And we are done in this room. 
Were you all right in there? Yeah. <laughs> She's so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we gotta go save. Perfect timing. Yep. Time to save and. We'll do the emblem thing here when we get back. Yeah. And we should be able to beat it tonight. Or this afternoon. Sure. I think we have about four hours left. Yeah. That's not bad. I hear a zombie still. I thought we killed him all upstairs. No, we didn't. There's one out there in the hallway still. But he's kind of out of the way. He shouldn't be a problem. I like how Rebecca's not here anymore. Mm -hmm. She probably won't heal you anymore. Just hanging out in the drug room. All right, we'll, uh, we'll continue on here in a little bit. Okay. All right, we're back after a little supper break there. And I think we're at the part where we have to put the... Emblem. And the key. All we have left is the sn uh, snake. Uh, <clears throat> yep. It's not over yet, snake. Don't you only have two death masks, though? Or do you have three? Um, I think we have everything. Oh, okay. I mean, I have a beer now, too, so I apologize in advance if... <laughs> if you start slurring your words. <laughs> if I start slurring my words and I start playing like shit, now you know. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not really a drinker anymore. I'll enjoy a Corona every once in a while. Put a lime in it. It's very, very good. In my opinion. You're not really a beer fan like I am. <laughs> no, I don't like beer. I actually enjoy the taste. And as you know, I'm, I'm being honest, like I understand why some beers are pretty gross, but I really enjoy Corona. I know your brother likes Miller Light, and that's not Ew, your favorite. I don't like no. <laughs> this one's easy. I think I think the short hand goes on the. <sighs> I think it's large. Yes, you do the large one right twice, and you're done. Yep. That's oh, that it. was that was nice. The puzzle's the picture. Yeah. Because the small hands in the chest. Tall hands, uh. Head. Head. The mansion key. That helmet. Oh, shield. Shield. Only opens one door in the whole mansion. I don't remember where the shield door is. The snake. Oh, that's right. I remember. I remember. <laughs> Is it like in the original where you can kind of sneak in there and grab it and run away, or do you have to? I don't remember. Because I haven't played this one as much as I have the original uh, director's cut. I guess I could try to attack it, but I'd rather save my ammo. At least you've saved recently if... That's true. If things go wrong. <laughs> This mansion is so comfy. It is. It's spooky, but it's comfy. Yeah. I love the atmosphere too, the music, and mm, mm -hmm. it's so good. Oh God, I'm scared. <laughs> you got this. All I have is a pistol, no health. Oh, you didn't bring your shotgun? No. I'm gonna see if I can wheeze my way out of here. Sneak out. 
I don't think you have to kill him. I'm on the wrong oh, way. Oh, jeez. <laughs> He's so mean, but at least I get... I think it's probably harder than the last one. I mean, easier... Yeah, harder than the last one because there's more crap you have to walk around. Yes. The and I don't there. remember it blinking as much in this one, in the old one. In this one, it's very clear of where you need to go. Okay, got the shotgun shells, but we're going to have to sneak around again. This is a lot easier than the new one. Or old yeah. One. Should, uh -oh. I, should I say that? But I got stuck in his tail. Oh my god, he's so mean. He is mean. He's so mean. Uh. Ready, run the rosy. <laughs> run for it, Chris. Oh man, dude! Hissing at me. It's like you know how he was like all raised up like that. Yeah. In like attack pose. Um, I remember I was driving one time um to Borger to see my doctor, uh, and this road is like really windy. It's like out in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing out there. And I remember one time it was in the middle of the summer, and there was a snake in the middle of the road, and it was raised up like that. And I hit it because I was going oh. like 75. Jesus. And I was like, oh my gosh, there was a snake. I guess that snake lost that battle. <laughs> yes. Like, I think he was posed to attack the next car, but he lost. <laughs> yeah, maybe you shouldn't fight a, um, yeah, that's probably not a good idea. Yeah. Okay, I think we have enough mass to go out there and I think fight. We have the, all four. I can't remember of a room you haven't been to. We're missing an old key, though. For that shortcut, there is something out there where Forrest was. Should we go out there and look? I mean, maybe it is an old key. Maybe it is an old key. I want to unlock that shortcut. Yeah. Let's see. Worst case scenario, I have to use a defensive weapon on him and I'll run. Yeah. That's the only place we haven't turned non-red. Do you still have the armor key or did you use it all? That's all, it's all gone. Cool. Yeah, we're good to go. I think with Jill, I think it's just an herb back there, but maybe for him it's an old key. He might be sitting on it. Herbs. I'll grab them. I'm gonna pick these herbs real quick while this guy's running for me. Oh, he like <laughs> tried to grab me? No yeah, defensive weapon? I know you had a flash grenade. Maybe you don't use it on him. Whoa. Whoa. Nice dodge. That was it. That was it. There was no Two herbs. Here. music. Mm -hmm. Nothing there. Oh my god, it's so creepy. It is creepy. Oh, I'm being chased. It mean it chase. <laughs> nice music. Much better job than the first time around. <laughs> so where else could it be? Nothing up there. What's that red spot in that room? That's an elevator. It's not here. There is no little keys. That's crazy. Huh. Maybe you have to get in the way back or something. Well, that one room shouldn't be red, though. Well, some rooms you have to come back. I'm pretty sure we've gotten everything. Cool. Time to go fight. Uh, is it Trevor or no? What's his name? The Crimson Head. He has a name, though. No, it's just, I think it's an experiment, and they kept out there. It's like one of the very first Crimson Heads, and they locked him up. Yeah, but I think there, with a note, there um, we find out his name. I just forgot. Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. There's a recipe on the back of this for caramel brownie. Oh jeez, that is tiny. Prepare a brownie batter as directed, and then... Oh, the last one's in the jewel box, but we never forgot how to open it. the batter in the pan. Okay. 
Is there a way to open it? Oh, there's a switch. Oh, okay. Wait. You're gonna need to read that whole thing. Can I read it? I think this is Because it wants you to melt those in the microwave in a separate bowl and then like pour them in. When, okay, go for it. There we go, you have to put the hearts together. That works, there we go. Oh, okay. Now you have them all. Yeah. Let's trade our pistol with shotgun. Good idea. No, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Uh, we have no room for anything else. Mm -mm. You going without saving? You're so brave. Yeah, I may regret that. We have to go the long way around because I don't have the freaking... There's got to be an old key around here somewhere. I just don't know where it is. Maybe there's one in the Crimson Heads room. Yeah, what well, good that would be to me right? for after, you know. <laughs> after it's already over. I don't think so, though. I don't know. I don't play Chris as so much as Jill. Mm -mm. Nothing personal. I just like two spots, extra spots. Oh, no. We totally knifed these guys out here. Think they're gonna be crimson heads? Oh, you did knife those guys. I bet they are. That's scary. No, I guess they don't turn crimson heads out here. There are five old keys in the mansion. In a bedroom, a east storeroom, the kitchen, the bedroom, and the, the kitchen. keeper room. We didn't go to the kitchen. We didn't go to the kitchen. That's the one. That's where the last key yep, is. That's it. Yep. Remember I said we don't need to go in there. All it's all this and there's a dagger. So well, I guess we'll go well, we're going there anyways later. So we're gonna get it no matter what. Yeah. Uh, which one's I? Is it this one? Yeah. Kind of a spooky. I like how blood comes out of the coffin. Oh I know. No. Nope. There we go. That's all over the camera. <laughs> and there's no dodging them. You have to kill it or the door won't open. Yep. Why are they baking stuff? We just ate. The kids. Well, we had real food. They're making brownies. You had no weapon to defend yourself. I think you're fucked because you, know, you have to kill him. Mm -hmm. It is possible to kill him with Chris's survival knife if you hit him 19 times. Oh. <laughs> with Jill's survival knife, it takes 31 times. <laughs> Jeez, he's pretty tough. That's for extreme endurance runs. <laughs> Got him. Look at that. Dodge him every Good time. Good job. Yes. You doubted me. I didn't. I was just, you know, thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this without saving. Okay. <laughs> Maybe you could push the switch and get out of here. Maybe you don't have to beat him. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe you can. Excuse me. Unfortunately, we can't go through the freaking shortcut because I'm an idiot. Did you know that there's a like a dice roll um, for how long it takes for a zombie to turn into a crimson head in this game? Oh, I thought it was just a time. It's a dice roll? Uh -huh. It depends on whether you're on easy, normal, or hard. If you're on normal, there's a dice roll. There's a 25% chance. It's a one in four that it'll turn into a crimson head at 15 minutes, 35 minutes, 70 minutes, and 80 minutes. Whoa. So that, that explains how sometimes it seems like it gets up sooner than later. Yeah. 
That's interesting. It's, it is interesting. It's like how I do it in my game I'm working on. Mm -hmm. I do a lot of uh, four-sided dice rolls. And if you're on hard mode, um, it can. it's like only a three dice, five, 10, or 15 minutes. Okay. That's cool. And I'd, easy, yeah, a 60, 90, 100, or 150 minutes. Some bored person did a lot of math. Mm-hmm. I'm not that dedicated. Sometimes I like the mystery of how games work. Yeah. I don't want to know everything. I like this guy's top comment. The Crimson Head boss is a, and then it just has four asterisks. <laughs> 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 he must have died. <laughs> oh, it wasn't that hard. Maybe if you had a <laughs> knife, it'd be tough. Yeah, having to hit him 31 times as Jill. <laughs> God. There's a guy crawling back there, so let's... I see him. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoyed that. <laughs> oh, I love the shotgun so much. <laughs> the best game with shotgun is, for some reason, it's Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, the original. Oh, God. yeah. I just love that shotgun in that game. It's so fun. When we play Resident Evil 5 and 6, the shotgun's my favorite. Oh, it's great. Love it. I love it even for their heads and it pops off. It's so fun. <laughs> I think you have to open that door from the other side. So I think we have to unfortunately have to go around. But that's okay. I'll catch it for next time because when we come back, we'll need that shortcut to avoid yes, hunters. That's true. Hunters are scary. Well, the good news is the mansion is completely cleared. I think I've gotten everything. All herbs. Everything. Nice. We can go ahead and switch back to our handgun. <clears throat> We're not going to get a shotgun for a, a long time. <clears throat> We're mostly fighting zombies. Yeah. Uh, we'll need that. Let's go ahead and save. I can't find his name anywhere. Every every guy just says Crimson Head Prototype. He doesn't have a name. I really thought he had a name. He's just a guy they experimented He's on. Just a guy. That's sad. Yep. It's sad. <laughs> is the door handle broke? Probably. Last time you went through, it said it wasn't doing good. Oh, yep, crap. it's broken. It kind of gave you that warning last time. Have to go long. Yeah, you can go through it twice. Yep. I was hoping three times. Dang it, we'd go all the way around. At least everything's dead. Oh, that's not good. What? Oh, we have to go down like the, the hallway of death. Oh. And the hallway of dogs and then, oh man. <laughs> the hallway of death and the hallway of dogs. We really need that, <laughs> we really need that shortcut, man. Yeah. I don't want to waste any ammo. Mm, that's not good. There's no other way down there. Crap. Sticks. <laughs> we can't go the other way around. Oh, man. You got this. I believe in you. <laughs> well, I have defensive items, though. Two. Three. Oh, and a grenade. Yep, so three. <laughs> that poor zombie's still walking around back there. <laughs> I did save it though, so I mean, if I die, it's no big, no big deal. Ooh. Damn it! Piss off! <laughs> They're both back here. I thought one would be on the other end of the hallway. Mm-hmm. 
Someone just. Are you okay? Can y'all do something else? It's okay. I'm gonna dodge him. Kids just dropped a bowl and broke it. There's one. Oh jeez, there's four in here? Five? Jeez. This is the hallway of death. Hallway of doom. And one of them just opened the door. Oh my god. That's no bueno. Yeah, this is the moment that had the old key that we totally forgot about. <clears throat> but we have to get out there to go through that door. And now we got multiple zombies to worry about. I have two defensive weapons left. My health is yellow. Not on your birthday. Pop. Pop the head. Oh my god. He's gonna grab me too. Is he dead? Uh oh. Yeah, bad things are happening. Bad things are happening. And zombies are like opening doors and that hallway that hallway had five zombies in it. Five? Jeez. Five. I I leave for three minutes because of a broken dish in the kitchen and you're in bad shape. <laughs> There's a dog coming after us. Oh, I, crap. I, yeah, there, there's a lot of health out here, though. It's, it should be fine. That damn doorknob breaking is... Ugh. Really chaps my anus. <laughs> there's some health. Uh, yeah, all the information is not helpful. I wish they get rid of like the the ad crap. That who cares? Like it's just some stuff in the. Who gives a shit? Right. There's something else in here, over here. Don't you have to get a ladder or something? Nah, uh, not in this one. Oh. In the original, you did. That's the wrong button. Okay. Empty. This way goes to Trevor's house, Lisa's house. We'll go there first. That's where the crank is nowadays. Mm-hmm. And the old one is just out there. Is this the way to get the Magnum? Lisa's house. And the I Magnum. Know, but and the Magnum yeah. house. We don't have the freaking thing, though. We can get it later. I think it's supposed to face north. Yeah, they're supposed to be facing each other, I think. It's easier if he's doing one at a time. It spins so fast. Mm -hmm. do, you th do you think it's both north? Oh, I don't remember. I can look it up if you want me to. Let's see. Oh, that's a cool shot. Mm-hmm. I like the mansion in the background. It's really neat. It was cool. Yeah, look up real fast because I, I totally forgot. I think they have to face each other, but or maybe f away from each other. Yeah, maybe it's away from each other. Let's see. I don't play this one as, as much as the original. Got it. It's away. Oh. It's away from each other. Okay. 
I was thinking towards each other, but no, it's the opposite. I should have brought the damn emblem, but you can get the emblem with the crest, I mean, in the chest out here. Mm-hmm. Now remember, don't don't run. The birds will stay still. So cool out here. Very creepy. It is. Reading like a wall of text over there. Reading. Resident Evil isn't that much information. You don't know, right? Not a very well done guide. We don't need a guide. Guides are for girls. Oh, wow. I'm just not joking. <laughs> When I first played this, being a big RE fan, I was like, this is freaking cool, man. Mm -hmm. It's a whole new area. picture. There's a journal left by someone. Daddy attached first, woman attached second. Inside red and slimy white and hard. Not true mom. Where? Don't know dad. Found mom again. When attached from my mom, she moved no more. No, she's screaming. Why? Just want to be with her. Mom, where? I miss you. Aww. This kid's been really loud. It's kind of making me nervous. Breaking shit. It was one bowl. It was an accident. It was hot. Crank. Squirt. Is that it for back here? Yep. Let's get the um, crest. Get the magnum. Definitely. Where I put that? There it is. We're getting a little low on ammo. Mm -hmm. Oh crap, here, here she comes. She's a man-eater. <laughs> whoa, whoa, here she comes. Whoa, whoa, here she comes. Boink. Ow. Yeah, she's killed me right here before. I have also died in this house, yep. Mother. She can get you like in a really bad like position mm -hmm. and beat the crap out of you if you're not yep. careful. <laughs> and be careful, there's a zombie out here now. I heard him. But if you walk just right, you can kind of like walk behind him from a tree. Oh, there's two ways down, <laughs> huh? I always forget about that. Where is it? Yeah, it's right here. Yeah, just go behind the tree and you're good. <laughs> God, you're being so loud. They're just taking out the trash. Would you chill? Seriously. We're playing a scary game here and kids are breaking shit and like stomping around and... They are being responsible and sweet. You be nice. <laughs> but loud. They're stomping. Was there like a... Something I have to do below that? I don't know. You do it after you put it in, I think. No. There it is. Nice. 
And then those you hit the button. Mm -hmm. Whoa, good thing you had three spaces. I know. Did you remember that or was it just luck? I remember. <laughs> you could go back. There's a crate over there, you know, it's not the end of the world, but Lisa might still be there. Yeah. I'm not sure if she's there or not. I've never had the balls to go back. <laughs> This is what I forgot to, forgot to do the first time I played the game. I did not do these crests. No magnum for me. There we go. That's Yay! A, it's a weird place to hide your magnum. <laughs> We'll just carefully walk out of here. Don't want to anger the birds. I'm almost like she's watching the movie Birds on TV today. Oh, really? Hitchcock movie. Dogs? Come in. Maybe just not Does yet. Anybody hear me? This is Chris. This is Brad. Stars Alpha Team. Bravo Team. It doesn't matter. Respond. I repeat, this is Br Brad. This is Chris. Brad. Damn. Thing's broken. <laughs> <laughs> it's Jill says the exact same thing. Those dogs are still here. Yep. I'm not running for it. You really? Yeah, dogs are mean. They are mean. I'll come back later with a shotgun or something. I don't have much rounds. Mm -mm. I can use my magnum against them. <laughs> really take well, them out. You always end up with extra rounds anyways. <laughs> If only Chris could swim. Ew, but would you want to swim in that water? You might get like a flesh-eating amoeba. Yeah, I wouldn't <laughs> put your head on, underneath the water. <laughs> no. Don't let it touch your mouth or ears. Mm -mm. You know, the CG backgrounds look so good. I'm kind of surprised more games aren't made like this anymore. Oh, yeah. You can do 4K backgrounds. Mm hmm. Looks awesome. They should make an old school Resident Evil game like this again. No, it's just birds? Okay, I thought it'd be dogs. It used to be dogs. Nothing here. And, and here it's just snakes this time, no dogs. Thank God, I don't like dogs. Mm -mm. Is that it? Yep, just one red or no, uh, before it was one green, one red. Oh, the snakes. Ah.
Blues. There's two. Luckily, you Three. rarely get poisoned. Yeah, I'll go ahead and collect them just to be on the safe side. You never know. Those herbs, man. Kicking some ass here. Mm -hmm. Don't do the crank again for a while. I'm not worried about crimson heads anymore because a lot of these rooms out here, you never really go back. Right. Is that it here? Let's see. Yep. I'll be careful. Famous last words. <laughs> I'll be careful. <laughs> Nothing to worry about. You push a box now instead of a statue. Which makes more sense. Now you have to jump on top of it. Oh, that music. That's so it's good. It's so creepy. They did a good job remaking that music. Mm hmm. There we go. Is this door locked? Yeah. Yep. Zero, zero, one. The one here, uh... That's locked too, isn't it? Oh. No, it's not. But... We're gonna have to use our lighter to get the code out here. There's, and there's spiders too. You might take a picture of this. Red's the eyeball. Take a picture with your phone. If you don't mind. That's what I was fixing to do. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Cool. That's what I always do. You saw I draw like a piece of picture of like a red and I draw like, a little eyeball. It's kind of fun building that. I, I miss when games were like made you do that. It's cool. Oh, oh Jesus. Don't hurt me. I'm your friend. <laughs> oh, I know. I used to play a lot of Aladdin on Super Nintendo. And after you beat a level, they would always give you a code. Oh, yeah. It's and like, it's I would, like, Mega I would Man. like draw it. Yeah. That, that one. So you have to draw like an eyeball with the two little lines. Yeah. And Mega Man had like notes everywhere with little dots in the little grid. Yep. Yeah, I had lots of notes for my Aladdin saves. You good? Yeah. The Red Book. We're about to do the Nudie Girl <laughs> puzzle. My favorite in the whole game. I noticed there was a pinup girl poster in that room you're in right now. Oh, nice. I didn't see it. Oh, I don't have room. I better. You can combine. Okay, the room's clear. Where's the pinup girl? Um, it was back in the other part of the room, close to the red light. Where the sweater was? Yeah. There's one right there, yeah, too. Yeah, I see some boobs. But there was another one. Oh, there's a butt. And there's another there's a one. Butt. <laughs> Are you paying attention, everyone? There's a butt on the wall. <laughs> All right, here you go. Here's another one. Got it. Look at that butt right there. No, that's a butt. There's another pinup girl over there. The oh, yeah, there bikini. is. You have to write a picture of this, too. That's the code. It's 563 something something. One second. Okay. Got it. Yep. All right. Watch out for the spider. Where's he at? Ooh. Just waiting Ooh, for Just me. hanging out. Yep. Is he climbing back up again? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that is so creepy. Nice. Oh, it is so creepy. Where's the other pinup, bro? Uh, go by... Right there. Oh, nice. <laughs> Chris. <laughs> oh, been, nice. He's been chased by a mutant six foot tall spider. Oh, there's a pinup girl. Nice. Knife. Knife. Like, like Mike Tyson. Tyson. Knife. <laughs> These guards in the guardhouse sure know how to have a good time. <laughs> Let's put this shit up. We have herbs coming out of our anus. I need to see a doctor. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. 
Are you ready for the red book? Should you put it back? Uh, I don't think we're ready. Because you don't for have it. the key yet. I don't think we're ready. We'll, we'll put it put it up for now. Your inventory is so limited. Oh, I know. <laughs> you're you're noticing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I I've never played as Chris in any of the Resident Evil. Uh, now you feel my pain. If it wasn't for that limited inventory, I would I think Chris would be my favorite playthrough. Mm -hmm. Chill's fun too. Don't get me wrong. Feels like in the original, like he sh shoots faster, and it seems to take him down quicker mm -hmm. than Jill does. His knife is more powerful too, according to the yeah. Crimson Head Wiki. It is, yeah, it totally is. Map of the resonance. And this where you spray the bee repellent. That one's open. In the original, you have to get a key for 002. Yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to go there yet. Let's see. There's something in there. I don't have no other plant. Four days have passed since the accident. The plant at point 42 is growing at an amazing rate. Although there are many unknown aspects about the plant. We know that in comparison with the other group of plants, the T-virus has had a substantially stronger effect on this one. Sorry. Burpee. The T-virus has drastically morphed its host anatomy as well as its size. Looking at its current state, it's difficult to imagine its original appearance. Nowhere on Earth will you find anything like it. We've also found that Plant 42 has two main sources of acquiring its necessary nutrients. One source is through its root. Somehow it has rooted itself down into the basement. Immediately after the accident, a scientist went mad and destroyed the aqua ring. Ever since, the basement has been like a pool. There's a high possibility that it's one of the chemicals in the water that's promoting the Plant 42's rapid growth. However, we have yet to determine the specific chemical. A bulb-like body of the Plant 42 has been sighted hanging from the ceiling of the first floor. We are sure that it's used the air ducts to reach the first floor. Numerous long tentacle-like vines are protruding from the bulb. We believe the vines are the second means of acquiring its nutrients. When the Plant 42 senses prey, it uses the tentacle-like vines to capture its prey. After doing so, suckers on the vine drain the prey of its blood. Lovely. Ew. We've also noticed that it has some intelligence. When it captures its prey or when it's inactive, the vines twine around the door to stop possible intruders. Unfortunately, as uh, several... A uh, several of our uh, scientists. Uh, several. Uh -huh. It's like that. Read that right. A <laughs> uh, several of our scientists have already fallen victim. I didn't know there's so many mistakes in the original. No, me neither. We've heard that the stories from the super survivors they all observed the one thing in common. They might have fixed that in the re remake report of this on the modern systems. And the uniform petal like flaps open and reveal its vital internals. It has a tendency to become more aggressive. One witness reported that it was as if it was trying to protect itself. Why it behaves the way it. It does is still unknown. Henry Sarton. That's the same name from uh, the original. Mm -hmm. Is there no? I guess we have no key though. Oh, I jumped. <laughs> That's kind of spooky, huh? Where'd you come from? Okay, he might be a problem in the future. We can't go down there. We don't have a key yet. But I don't like having a crimson head hanging around. Right? Go fast. <laughs> Maybe we'll get a good dice roll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is minutes based. But that's okay. They're not as hard as the one out there locked up. He was the hardest crimson head in the game. Usually they take about one or two shotgun shells and they're dead. If you have, If you happen to have your shotgun with you... Hey, there's the key. Is that it? Is that for zero, zero, 001? Yep. Uh, let's see. It should say on the key itself. Yep. Yep. So, yeah, it's probably a good thing we came in here. We need to go there next. I'll be rocking the shotgun here full time here. Soon. Soon, yeah, with the hunters and... Yeah, that, that really made me jump. That was scary. <laughs> yeah, it's the music. It is. Now, one thing that we've never played with headphones, and I think it's going to be super scary when we do, is PT. I'm going to oh. be jumping a lot. We should play that. <laughs> we should. I have it on PS4 still. Yeah. 
You play. I can't. Dude, let's it's do too it. scary. It's too scary for me. I'll watch you. Let's do it before my PS4 breaks and I lose it forever. Okay. <laughs> That's a good idea. I'm glad you brought that up. I would really like to watch you play, but oh man, it's, it's quick, scary. It's fun. Let's, and we'll have to remember how to beat it. Yeah. That's interesting. Don't you have to have, have a mic? I think so. You have to talk in it? Yeah. What or mic? maybe the PS5 controller, since it, you talk. Does it have a mic built into the PS5, PS4 controller? It's a PS4 controller. Could you use your PS5 controller on the PS4? No. Just plug it in? Maybe. I'll research it. No, we should do that next. We should. That's a, that's a, good, that's a good idea. I'm I totally forgot about that. Yeah, me too. I would, like When I jumped, it reminded me of how I yeah. felt in that game. And I, I remember like jumping and being so scared. <laughs> yeah, I had to do it. We ran from those things, helping each other to survive. But Roberts started to show the symptoms. I had to do it. Those damn things are pure evil. There was no other way. He would have done it the same if it were the other way around. After I put him out of his misery, I had to just leave him in the bathroom. Now I'm probably the last one. The hint, hint. There's yeah. a zombie in the bathroom. Zombie in the bathroom. And he's probably the one hanging on the, the noose. Yep. How could this happen? I'll never forgive myself for being part of this project. Eventually, I'll get what's coming to me, though. There's no way to escape from this nut house. It's just a matter of time now. Everything is set. All I need now is a little courage to get it done. Knowing that I'll leave many things undone is a regret beyond words. But this is a let this is better than just waiting to turn into one of them. Please understand and at least let me end my life as a person. There's a message in the back. Linda, please forgive me. There's a ammo. Nice. If I can get it. Where the heck? How do I get it? There it is. Okay. I sit in the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little nervous. This game makes me nervous. I know, especially ah, the it. the music and the sound effects. I should use a self defense weapon on. He's so cl he's like so like close quarters. Yeah. Is there no locked drawers in this one? I guess not. I don't see any. There's locked drawers like everywhere in the old one. You had to have like a bunch of old keys. Mhm. Mm I get ready. He's about to attack us. He's on the ground. Yep. There's something inside the bathtub. Is he gonna get up? The room's clear. Ooh, maybe you could just back up. Get out, out, out. Go, go, go. I'm out. Yeah. Peace out. That's right. I never come back here. No. Leave him be. Do I? No. No. He might come out this door. To the hallway, maybe. But would he come out two doors? Maybe. No, I don't think he'll ever come out here. I don't think so. We should grab the herbs. He might get poisoned. Creepy music. Love it. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to play PT again. Me I too. Play, I haven't played PT in like <laughs> 10 years. It's been a really long time. It came no, out, it came out no. 13. We played it when I was pregnant with Nora, and Nora yeah. is nine. And oh. I remember, like, I could not watch the whole thing. Like, it was too much for me when I was pregnant. Really? Yes. Remember? Yeah. Like, I was like, I can't, I can't do this. Like, I'd leave the room. <laughs> <That's> sad. <laughs> too scary. That's cool. We should totally do it again. We should. It won't be long. Nah. Oh, you're so unorganized. What is this? I'll fix it later. <laughs> That's so not like you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll fix it later. Okay, now we need to go... To the control room. There's a shark down there, but it's what's, in the, what's, in, what's in the bag? Uh, a shark or something? <laughs> Vague Wicker Man reference. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Not the bees, you bitches. Not the bees. <laughs> Phallic symbol. Phallic <laughs> symbol. <laughs> Everyone's seen oh, the Wicker Man, it. right? The remake. Everyone's seen that. Everyone's seen the Wicker Man, of course. A shark or something? No, that was so great. Uh, what's in the bag? A shark or something? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what people have <laughs> in their sacks that they're carrying. <laughs> yeah. This room's locked. We have no choice but to go. Yep. Down number two. Uh, there's probably a zombie going to get up and eat me. If I got a bad dice roll. Is he still in here? Yeah, he's right there. You can see his hand. It's not red yet. 
If he turns red when I come up, I'm going to scream and go, ah! <laughs> okay. Oh, the music. The music's great. They did a good job. It's not the director's cut crap either. It's the good stuff. You got to play the original original. Not, not the director's cut crap. You need to play the original Resident Evil. It's these songs in their original version. Mm -hmm. Sounds like MIDI music, but it's still good. They did such a good job. They did. They liked this box puzzle so much, they brought it back for Resident <laughs> Evil 2. <laughs> yeah. Hey, feel like pushing boxes? Man, this game has you covered. Yep. Can you open that door? Not yet. It's uh, locked on the other side. It's ah. the way out. Because the way it works, you lower the water and you can never go this way ever again. Mm. It makes more sense logically. They thought things through a little bit more in this time around. And the, and the incredible thing about this game, they built, they made this game in a year. Just one year. Dang. They did a wonderful job. There's an herb. I'm scared, babe. <laughs> I don't, I'm not a big fan of the sharks. I'm scared. I'm scared. I haven't stayed in a while. You haven't. Don't let Neptune get you. Richard! Oh no, Richard, don't come down here. Chris! Chris, stop! No! Oh Aww. no, Richard! You poor bastard. Richard. Poor Richard. Alright, we need to plan. We need to go. Hug the left wall. Let's get to the middle. What am I doing? There we good go. question. The buttons are all backwards in this. Oh man. Oh man. I know, dude. <gasps> ah, oh geez. man. Let's go this way. Right here. This, the faster we get out of this shithole, the better. Mm hmm. Then I'm worried about doing like the, the pressure the right way. When you're lowering the water. Oh, oh the music. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I, I know. shit myself. <laughs> I just pooed in my pants. <laughs> Gross. Ew. Ew. Now, the puzzle in this room, like, I was really confused and had to look it up when I played. Oh, this is not the right way. This is where the. This is Vigil. Crap, we're not out of this place yet. We have to go up there and unlock the door. Right up here. Not that far away, though. There we go. What were you saying? Inside the control room on this yeah. version, I got really confused and had to, like, look it up. It is confusing. Uh, is there something in here or down there? I think it's down there. Yeah, it must be down here. God, here we go. Nice, give me some herbs. But I'm I'm green though. I'm good. Okay, so we have to like. We have to like, lower the pressure or some shit. Emergency. Unknown source of pressure detected. Are you Russian? <laughs> do we do this part over here first? Okay, crap. Nope. Yeah, I actually here. died at this part. Like, the, the critical went all the way to, like, 100, and I was like, I don't know what to do! <laughs> Shit, which one is it? What the hell is it? Is it? Shit. Maybe it's over here. Safety. Okay, the safety's released. Now, baby, go out in the hallway. Pull it. 
No, then we have to do like the thing in the hallway next. So do the oil pressure, then release safety, and then do it again. Wait, crap. Shit, two, maybe? One? Oh. Isn't that bad? Guess we'll find out. Try it again. Reaching 70% of pressure threshold. I don't think it's three. Come on, baby, go down. There we go. We got it. Whew. Whew. Yeah, because I had failed right there and it sucked. I got a game over. <laughs> now we drain the water. Alright, now we're good. Nice. Good job. Phew. Yeah, getting a game over there would suck. No continues? Just you die? You That's just it? die, yeah. Oh man. You know, I've never died right here, but that would suck. I have. The glass, if I remember right, the glass like exploded and like I, I died. Oh yeah. man. And the yeah. shark like eats your face. Yeah. <laughs> it's not it's not oh, good. Man. <laughs> That's not good. Poor but Richard. you know me, I save obsessively, so it was fine. <laughs> I should, but I'm so cocky. I'm like, <laughs> I don't need to save. Savings for pusses. <laughs> And then I die, and I'm like, damn, I should have saved. I should have saved. <laughs> what was I thinking? Dumbass. <laughs> Do we got this door or the door on the left? I think one, uh, right here. Because the other way is like the exit. You can't go the other way anymore. The water's drained. You can't exit that way. I'll do V-Jolt, but I don't know if this path will allow us to do V-Jolt. But if it does, I will do it. Oh, shotgun. Ooh. Another shotgun. We have a problem though. We're, uh, that must have been Richards. We're not running out of room here. Let's see if we can mix this crap. Yeah, we might be able to. Yeah. Yep, we, you we, can. We can mix it. <laughs> Look at those marks all over him like he's been bitten by the other sharks. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Something shiny just fell in the water. Yep. I've turned the electricity on and then before I moved it and then fried myself a little bit. <laughs> I've done that. I think I've done that too. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't we all? I was like, oh man. <laughs> not smart, Chris. You can't play the piano or handle electricity. <laughs> can't trust Chris. All right. I think uh, once we get the key from him, we should be good. He doesn't flop around like the old one. They just kind of flop around forever. Yeah. It's kind of sad. It is sad. He, j he just twitches a little. Yeah. Now we're going to pay PT now. Me too. We'll do that after we beat this. With headphones, it's going to be scary. Oh, it, oh, yeah. It'll be very immersive. My PS4 is probably full of dust. We have two PS4s, so though. I have to figure out which one has PT on it. Mm-hmm. You do they look the same? I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, they're exactly the same. You okay. cannot download it anymore. It's it's taken off the store. People are trying to eBay their PS4s because for PT demo. Are you serious? Yeah. Our PS4 is kind of like invaluable now for us PT fans. Wow. Oh, man. That's not good. There's magnum rooms. You know, I, I'm just going to do it. Just do just it. Just do it. Yeah, fuck it. Yep. I, I would have done the I same. I don't want to come down here again. Yeah. We have a lot of herbs anyways. You have way more than I ever do. It'd be funny if you get up here and there's like an item crate right here. And you're like, oh man. <laughs> there's not though. You do have to come back here if you want to put v -Jolt in. But I don't think Rebecca's on that path. I think she's what the, would you have needed to do differently? Not seeing her with... Well, in the original game, you can first see her, her in the safe room where she sprays you with gas. Or the scene where she's with Richard. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, crap. I guess that the dice roll got me. I guess so. 
Ah, oh, blew myself up again. Why should I stop doing that? <laughs> but it's a crimson head. I was scared. <laughs> he like immediately came for me. He did, dude. I didn't even notice that his body was gone. He was just, it was just like, he waiting was waiting for, for you. To eat me. I think you need to go to the crate. Yeah, let's go ahead and save. It's been a while. The games. I feel more comfortable playing the originals. When I play like the newer Resident Evil's, I'm more rusty. Yeah. It's throwing curveballs at me. Like I can be Resident Evil 2. But, like no hit runs. I'm awesome at the original Resident Evil 2. <laughs> you are. I've gotten honk, tofu. I've beaten honk, you name it. But in this game, I'm like, oh, I'm like, like shitting myself. <laughs> My asshole's like <laughs> super puckered right now. <laughs> so scary. Okay, we got magnum rounds. Let's put this down here. We need one green. Uh, put that up. So cool, you can combine them like that. Yeah. We'll use that main shotgun for our, all future endeavors. See, it's looking a little bit more organized now. Look at that. Not bad. Yeah, but you got some mixed ones down there. Yeah, we'll fix that right now. <laughs> Look at this. We'll fix it. There, are you happy? Yes. I'm used to a certain standard of organization. Green, red, blue. <laughs> in, that, in that order. Yes. Oh, I, me I messed up. One yeah, green yeah, I messed and up. ink ribbons. You're right. Correct the mondo. <laughs> Dang it. I'm still getting used to the GameCube controller. <laughs> it is weird. Going back to the GameCube controller. Yeah. Oh, I'm going too fast. I get impatient. I need another round of beer. If, if you want to get up, if you're getting up for any reason later, or I'll get it. It's cool. Either way. Uh, I bet we're almost ready for that red book. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Can you do it? Can you yes. do it, Rebecca? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. And see, relax, and play. <laughs> Sorry for my lack of manners, but I'm not used to escorting men. <laughs> That's a real quote from Wesker in the original. You don't believe me? Look it up. I love the original story, uh, the, the voice acting. It's so good. Cracks my ass up. I just got like a an MSN news alert yeah. that the latest variant of COVID is causing anxiety and insomnia. Is that what my problem is? Maybe that's, that's just, it. You just <laughs> that's just me though. We gotta spray this dude first. I'll get you a beer. Oh, thank you. It's Miller time <laughs> or Corona time. Cerveza time. Cerveza time. Don't forget the lime. Or I'm asking for a divorce. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> She's like, whoa. <laughs> that guy takes his beer seriously. Gotta pump in the gas. There you go, bitches. Not the bees, you bitches. Pump it up. You gotta pump up the jam. All right. Now we need to go in that door. And she has the passcode on her phone. I don't remember it. But first, we'll. This door's locked, right? Yeah. First, we'll go over here and get the key. Is there a key? I don't know. In the original one, there was. That is so sick. Look at that poor guy. That poor bastard. Stung to death. I bet that's the key right there to open that door. Let's see. There's still something else out here. Ah, I bet there's an herb next to the door. Next to the other door. Let's see. Yep, there's that one. I bet it's over here. I remember. Yep. Got it. I am not going to fight the Plant 42 with a pistol, though. That's That's silly. I don't know if we can do this with Rebecca, though. Without Rebecca, is doing the beach ult. Oh, Lord. I'm going to pause it while I'm waiting on her. 
Okay. Right, we're back. And we're, she's so. looking at the code on her phone right now. And I'm eating cheese. But it looks like someone's tried to eat this before. It's like kind of someone scissored it <laughs> and gave up on it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so the first eyeball is orange and the orange ball is five. So five. And then. Whoa, hold on. Five. Six. Three. Hey, can you open this for me? I'm trying to play. These damn cheese wrappers are, are like childproof. Whoa, it does look like someone tried to open it before. One of the kids probably did it. And then they just gave up. Oh, we can't mix stuff. But we opened it for, uh... I don't think Rebecca... I don't think we'll do v -Jolt. You know? If that's the case, we'll need to bring our best guns. Let's go back and get better guns. And some health. Mm -hmm. Whoa, that's a wall of text. She's reading a game fact over there of the game, I guess. Let's put this one up. Okay, let's go ahead and trade out our handgun for the shotgun. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, maybe I should. Maybe get some health. Just in case. That should be good enough. He's not very hard. But you never know. Right. Hope you don't hear me eating. We totally can, but it's fine. <laughs> what are you looking up? I was just seeing how to make Rebecca make the vigil for you, like what you have to do. Not the path we're on. Anything in here? Um, no. Empty. There's the naked girl with nipples. <laughs> <laughs> with nipples. <laughs> The similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected by the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given the 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct, V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant. The entire plant should be dead within five seconds, but it's really not. No. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and uh, chemicals sorry, in specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They have been known to generate toxic gases. The characteristics, red, yellow, green, orange, blue, and dark brown. My favorite puzzle in the whole game. <laughs> the nudie girl. Got 
Okay. Gotta get our butt over here. There we go. Did I say bondage with blood? Surely not. You ready? Yeah. Of course you're ready. You're watching. Am I ready? Maybe I won't be able to do V-Troll. Got a cussing. Or not. No, you gotta do it. Or maybe? Maybe. No, gotta fight him. I did something wrong in that path with Rebecca. Okay. You can handle hits really well as Chris. Yeah. I get him. Who needs Vigil anyways? Oh, that's the first phase. If you have Vigil, you'd skip the whole first phase. I'm hurt. It's man all wasted. It hurts. I can't see what the hell I'm shooting at. All my ammo gone. <laughs> oh. Damn, dude. Jeez. How many rounds was that? Like 20? It was a lot. Ah, bummer. Really not done. Stupid plant. Stupid plant 42. Hey, mansion key. The only way Rebecca will make the V-Jolt is if Richard dies in the mansion, not by Neptune. Really? Okay. That's hard to pull off things. So I've never really seen that happen before. You have to, um, like, take too long getting the serum or don't get the serum at all, and then he dies in the so, mansion. That's probably the best way to do it, then. It probably is. And oh, actually, scared me. you get to take control okay? of Rebecca for a little yeah, bit yeah. and make the V-Jolt. Yeah. So that's cool. Yeah, you do. I don't think I've ever seen that. I have in the original. Just not in this one. Richard. In the original, you just tell her not to go to stay in the mansion or just, or come back to the Gone. whatever. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should have watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll well, too late now. I'm glad you're still okay. Could have been useful, you know, a while ago. Right. Let's see if she can heal me. That'd be handy. Save you an herb. This room is equipped with all sorts of medical supplies. Want me to treat your wounds? It's in my pants. Would <laughs> you treat it? Yeah, would you? <laughs> yeah, would you? <laughs> yeah, would you? Oh my gosh. Dirty boy. Dirty boy. Thanks. Remind me of Kim's breakdown on the bus in Better Call Saul. Oh, that was great. She was, she was such a good actress. Believable. Yeah. 
Be strong, Rebecca. She just had a complete mental breakdown on the bus. I started crying her balls out, her eyes out. And her balls <laughs> Her balls were gone. <laughs> I think you were trying to say bawling her eyes out. Yeah, but, but they came out balls. <laughs> she, she cried her balls out. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Wesker. Wesker? Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. <laughs> Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. Uh-huh. I see. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. <laughs> got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip the situation. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. Yeah, he's totally not a bad guy. Yeah, definitely not. I think we're fully done here at the mm -hmm. I think so. Completely done. Do you fight Lisa soon or is that after you go back to the mansion? It's after you go back. The end of the mansion, really. It's when you're going to the lab. Like underneath the the hall now, they changed it, you know? Oh yeah. I don't need the crank yet. Are you sure? Not yet. I'm gonna I'm gonna go save it though. Just in case. It's hunter time, and I'm scared. Mm-hmm. We wasted so much freaking ammo on that damn stupid plant. Yep. I've been saving my shotgun this entire game just to use up, like, half of it. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Yeah, wasting ammo in this game hurts. Even though it wasn't really wasting it. But still, yeah. You've been saving it and you had to use so much of it. I might have wasted some of the shots on the pedal when he's, when he's not raised, you know? But I couldn't see because the camera angle. Right. I think you're supposed to only shoot it when it raises its pedals. Like the note said. But I was a chicken. I didn't want to pop this my head out there. I don't blame you. Answer me. Somehow give me a sign. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Brad. Damn. They need to invest in better equipment. Mm -hmm. uh oh, oh he was like sitting down taking a nap. Yeah. Oh, geez. Oh, geez. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I forgot we have dogs out there now. We have a lot of herbs, though, so if we get hurt on the way back... That's true. Should be okay. Oh, man. Ugh, why did it have to be snakes? There you. Did he hurt me? No, I'm good. Oh, good. We'll kill the dogs later. I'm going to save all my ammo for the hunters. They're mean. They are mean. It's very nerve-wracking going back to the mansion. You know there's hunters coming your way. Mm-hmm. I can never remember where they all are. <laughs> yeah. Heck yes, we'll take the shotgun shells. Use this to protect yourself from the monster in chains that can't be hurt by guns. I also fixed the doorknob to, the, to make you get, can get away easier. Wesker, thank you. Doorknob is fixed. All's right in the world now. Are 
Are we good here? Yep. There might be a dog out here, or maybe the dog went away. Nope, it went away. Oh, good. Probably to make room for the hunter. Mm-hmm. Or the hunter ate him. <laughs> <laughs> so mean it it, it, it chases <laughs> why is it so mean oh. right in the air too look at that he's nice oh no you missed I did miss I shot him but he was already in mid motion oh I thought two shots will take him down is it three uh, two or three yeah suck on that oh we have to have a different you see that key would open right there but not anymore I don't remember getting a key with the Spencer family emblem on it. It's a treasure box. You get it with a yellow jewel. Oh. I think. One right here, I think. Nice. Did I get him? Watch this. Oh, no. He jumps down. Isn't that cool? Whoa. Dude, you, you handled those like a pro. <laughs> Years of uh, shitting myself. <laughs> These guys scare the crap out of me, and they're not as bad as they used to be. The original, they're way worse. Yeah. Unless you have acid rounds. What's your bazooka? Acid rounds really hurt them. Mm-hmm. We need one green. Okie dokie. Yoki yoki. That's what Sam used to say. Our daughter. Okie yoki <laughs> doki yoki. Is that what she said? It was okie dokie something pokey. Okie pokey. Something like that. Uh, something like that. <laughs> so, okay, we need to go this way, I think. It might be, I don't know. We'll see. They changed it up. Yeah, she doesn't say that anymore. She used to when she was a little girl. Mm-hmm. Is it the snake fight? I think so. You can't get around at this time. You have to fight them. No, no, no. The snake's not in here anymore. It's a nudie statue, but it's all weird. Like With tentacles. Oh. <laughs> into the hentai stuff. Yeah. What's up with Japanese people and, like... Tentacles? Tentacles? Yeah, I don't understand. But I bet they find, I bet they found the opening scene for the Bond movie Spectre to oh be God. like tentilating. Yes. <laughs> There's like tentacles all around the girl, like naked girl. Yes. It's like, whoa, I've seen this in a Japanese movie before. <laughs> Which way do I go? This way. Push. Push. I was almost a Chris sandwich. Almost. Better than a Jibble sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> can't have that. Dagger? Down there's the snake, huh? No, not yet. The snake is now in a different area. Oh. Hey, there we go. One of the wolf medals or eagle or something. Eagle. Nice. 1967. I can't get out. I have tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with from formaldehyde. Uh -huh. And those dark, wet, and eerie caves. What can I do? And at first, I didn't want to believe my eyes. But that familiar high, Hilled shoe in the corridor. It was like reflex. One name came to my mind. Jessica. I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No. I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? 
Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. It was a dark and damp underground tunnel, and another dead end. Even in my darkness, something caught my eye. Carefully, I lit the last match I had to see what it was. A grave. But deeply engraved into the stone was my name, Greg Trevor. That said George Trevor. Oh, you're right. George Trevor. <laughs> He's been drinking. <laughs> <laughs> my mind auto-corrected. At the instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here, and I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now. I'm losing it. Everything's becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa, forgive me. Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole darn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. Greg Trevor. <laughs> George. <laughs> a name is carved in a small gravestone. Greg Trevor. <laughs> There's a sw- <laughs> Chris can't read. You can't play piano, can't read, can't mix chemicals. What's it good for? He's so dumb. <laughs> it's all those steroids. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the ster- <laughs> and punching boulders. Oh, there's a spot up. Oh, it's so creepy. It is creepy. Oh, shit. This is where you might get poisoned right here. Map. Is all there is down here? Oh, what that thing? There's something else down here. It's not over here. Don't mind me, spiders. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to get poisoned and all kinds of you shit. You are There's definitely something. poisoned. There's something... There's something there, though. Yeah. What is it? It's probably like an herb or something. If it's ammo, you sure need it, though. There's a blue one. Can I take blue but by itself? Yeah. I don't think it's ammo. I think we're good. It's nothing important. Dagger on the ground. Oh, man. You shot him in the arm and he just kind of looked at you funny. Yeah, what the hell? There That's we go. That's better. That popped his head off. There we <laughs> go. It, it does work eventually. Supplied. No, I don't do spiders, man. I'm out of there. Mm-hmm. Do you blame me? Nope. Magazine. Still haven't used all the spots for your key. No, not yet. We need to go find a crate, though. There might be hunters out here. We need to be careful. Mm -hmm. Do I have health? One red. <laughs> that doesn't help me. I'll be careful. If I just make it to the crate. Oh, jeez. Oh, nice. I'm there. Nice. We're getting low on ammo. We have five shotgun rounds in the old shotgun. Mm-hmm. I was thinking of that. The music. Oh, it's, that's so good. <laughs> oh, the headphones make this game way scarier. Yeah. PT's yeah. going to be a trip. PT's going to be so scary. <laughs> the baby in the sink. Uh-huh. I'm so glad it's you playing, not me. Oh, man. When you play the Resident Evil 2 remake, Mr. X is going to be scary also. Because you can like hear him oh, stomping around. God, I cannot wait. To, I love that game. I cannot yeah. wait to play that again. It's going to be fun it's too. It's so good. Mm -hmm. I like the original better, but I still love the new one. It's still really fun. We're doing good in handgun ammo. And are we... What's our condition? Green? Okay. All good. I think we're fine. Let's go ahead and... um. Where do I go? Elevator maybe? Yeah. Might be the elevator we go down. We have to go back. 
Wait, no, there is one door up here. Let's do that first. Oh, yeah. Over here. You should be able to get the jewels. No hunters? Weird. No, I'll turn that back on. Uh, let's read this first. Mail from the Chief of Security. X day is drawing upon us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. Lure stars to the estate and obtain BOW's raw combat data. They love their data. They love their, their data. data. Mm -hmm. Against stars. Collect two embryos of each mutated specimen as, as samples, excluding the tyrant. Dispose of the tyrant. They don't like the tyrant, though. <laughs> no, he's too dangerous to be kept alive. Yeah. Ensure complete disposal of the RP laboratory, including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, report to headquarters for further instructions. Maybe they shouldn't leave their crap laying around all the time. Remember like in 4, it was like, our plans. It even said <laughs> our, our plans. plans. Yes, I remember. Let's just stop doing that. <laughs> if for some reason you are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck. Umbrella headquarters. You say white umbrella. Mm-hmm. Like it's like some dude. take it and there's one thing over here wait oh, hands are starting to hurt too much resident evil oh man it's like carpal tunnel filling Ooh, i've God. had that oh it's like sending shockwaves up my arm getting old sucks Dude, like, remember, like, a few nights ago when, like, I was telling you that, like, my arm was, like, really, really hurting and I had to go take some ibuprofen? Was it a carpal tunnel? I don't know, because, like, it felt like, like, electricity was shooting down my nerves in my arm and going yeah, to my elbow. That's carpal tunnel. Like, I, it felt so weird. It was like a shock going through my arm, like, yep. every few minutes. Yep. It hurt so yep. bad. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've had that happen before. Like, right now. It went away, though. That's good. When I took ibuprofen, it went away after about an hour. Make sure you sit with really good posture at work. Oh, I can't because, like, my chair is broken. Um, <laughs> you're, you're a school teacher. You yeah. get what you get. You don't throw a fit. <laughs> exactly. I'm just glad it has wheels. Um. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the red goes in the tiger eye, right? Red and blue, I think. And the yellow goes in the chest. Unless it's different from... I don't, I don't think so. Oh, oh my man. God. Oh, Lord oh, crap. Man. I was just waiting for it to happen. Oof. It's only a matter of time. These damn hunters. And the music. Ooh. Ooh. Is there like a plaque or anything? Yeah, I think it says it on the front. I think so. I think red and blue go in the tiger. A tiger going with blue and yellow light. Blue and yellow. yellow. They changed oh, it. Oh, they changed it. So red goes in the box. Yep. Okay. <laughs> you know, don't want to waste it. Uh-uh. Hey, Modisk. Modisk. I like how down there it's like game cubes. Where you put the Modisk in. Yeah. <laughs> Purple game cubes. And the GameCube CDs are like mini CDs. I had a purple one, but we have a black one now, right? Yeah. I lost my purple one. I don't know what happened to it. I also had a purple Did one. Did we sell it or something? I don't remember. It's a shame. Isn't it? We shouldn't have sold that. Uh, let's avoid the hunters. I don't know about you. Didn't we have like like a spare GameCube? Like we had one of ours from when we were a teenager and we like, didn't we sell yeah. it to get um, Rainbow Resident Six. Evil? Uh, yeah, Rainbow Six we, Vegas. We, we pawned it for Rainbow Six. Yeah. <laughs> we, got, we got our GameCube back. Yeah. But it's my purple one. I feel kind of sad I got rid of my purple one. The purple one's kind of like the... Yeah, know, I had a purple one as well. Nostalgic color. Mm -hmm. I'm taking the shortcut back to the chest. I'm going to avoid the two hunters. I don't blame you. We never have to go back to that part ever again. We're out. I like how the door's painted like it was disguised. Yeah. That's the back door. It's kind of cool. It is cool. 
This game is like a masterpiece. They don't get much better than this. <laughs> if you're an old school RE fan, this is like the golden shit right here. <laughs> <laughs> We gotta find that box to get that. Because that box will have that key to that door right there. I forgot where the box is, though. So. Yeah, me too. I'm sure we'll find it here soon. What we're doing right now is. Let me think. You need to find the last spot for the helmet key. Don't need this right now either. There's two more doors. Oh, there's two more. Okay. Yeah. Oops. I know. Oops. One in the. I spilled beer. Not sure. I'm good. There's one in the hallway and one where that statue was that has the spinning blades. Oh yeah. Do you have a drinking problem like an airplane? Yeah, I have a drinking <laughs> problem. Sorry. <laughs> it happens to the best of us. Love that movie. Yeah. The fastest way there is. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's go back to the main hall. And the shortcut. I'm avoiding all hunter spawn locations to save ammo. And potential death. Right. I know in the original one they get, they have the potential to sh to cut your head off. I don't know if they have that potential here with you, when you have full health. I remember uh, as Jill, I got my head chopped off at Green. I'm pretty sure it went flying in the air and boof, my Ooh, head came off. I remember. I've, I've I've had that happen too. I don't know if they do it in the, the new one though. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to play with that. That's playing with fire. There is a door down here. I think. Yep. I forgot what's in the new one here. Okay. Similar to the old room. There's something handwritten. It's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting. Not even Sir Spencer. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. That's the costume room. He's hinting at. Oh, yeah. Cool room. It is a cool room. It's not locked with a key anymore. I think the old keys are like done. You're not doing that anymore. I think so. This room used to be the painting room for costume changes, but now it's over there with the, the other room. I always liked that shot where you were fighting in the mirror. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. yeah the, oh, it's the boxes right here now. That's what it was. Right there. Oh, yeah. Okay. I remember that being there. They changed it. Isn't, now, isn't those blue herbs down there? Uh, no. That's green herbs, like if you, if you, it's like a bundle. No, they are blue. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if you're poisoned. But you can't get poisoned in the mansion, can you? M mm. Except maybe by yawn. There's spotters here now. Oh, okay. You got, we got poisoned once earlier. There might be spotters in the dog hallway too. Never go in the dog hallway when you get back. There's no reason to go there. That's just suicide. Only if you're lost. Yeah, stick to the <laughs> same route. It's boring, but trust me, you don't want to go down routes you don't want to. Don't need to. We have a problem though. We have to go back to the item chest and uh oh, we need to go fight the spider. We need to. Um, are you sure you want to go that way? Isn't there two hunters that just came through a window? Yes. <laughs> I don't think we should go that way are ever you again. Sure, you should. Go <laughs> I just I don't want to go down the same path again. But if you go upstairs, you can go to that same crate. Just go down where the puking zombie used to be. 
Or you can go that way too. But you know what I mean? There's a hunter up there. But we need to go that way anyways because there's that to get to the other room we have to go. Don't I know I know what to do, don't worry. I just I have to unfortunately go back to the stupid item crate. Oh. We have to get that yellow jewel out. It's we have to open it up. Then we should be almost. I mean, then we have to fight the snake, and then we're done. I'm not doing this very optim optimally, but it's okay. It's okay. This is no speed run. This is a fun run. Mm -hmm. I like fun runs. <laughs> After watching Better Call Saul, I want a Cinnabon now. Oh, me too. Um, me and the girls were going to Amarillo on Tuesday, and we are definitely bringing back Cinnabons. Cool. I'll take one. Heck yeah. <laughs> I love how every day he would take one to the security guards at the mall. Just to distract them so he can rob from them. Well, yeah. <laughs> He's such a butthead. <laughs> nope. No. <laughs> it's so weird. The controls are all backwards to me. Oh no, it's a puzzle. Oh, yep. I suck at this one so bad. I think I know how it goes. Uh, this is the bottom one, I think. Uh, right here. Last time I did this, I got stuck for a while. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I don't that? remember. That, that looks kind of right. But not. That doesn't look right either. Mm. I think it's like this. That don't look right. That man. doesn't look right. This one right here. Yeah. Let's, let's I don't do, think that, that one's let's right. Let's do that one later. You should look up online like what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> I had to, because I always, I think this looks right. No, it doesn't, that's not right either. Maybe like, uh, that doesn't look right either. There's you a picture. Okay, so the first one I laid down is wrong. Well, that's pretty handy. I like, um, yeah, this this person, like, color-coded wow. the puzzle pieces, and that's very handy. This is right, right here, right? Yes. And then the next one, the blue one, that's the light blue one right here, right? That no, right. that's the dark blue one. Right here. This that one. one's the light blue one, yeah. And the next one's the, this is the green one. Green. Mm -hmm. I think it goes like right, right. So I had this one wrong to begin with. This right here. Oh, yes. I, I had that way wrong. And then the blue one goes in the center. Mm hmm. That's yellow. This is yellow. Oh, this is yellow. This is the right place. That's the right place. Here, here. So you just have to like scoot it over a little bit. Yeah. Get your ass down there. There you go. That's harder than it looks. Mm hmm. There we go. Hey, nice. And we're... I recommended that guy's uh, picture. It's like, would you recommend this? Yes. That was very well done. That was well done. He, he color-coded it and everything. <laughs> How nice of him. Because that puzzle always kind of makes me like feel like a dummy. Oh, me too. There's a there's a really uh, one just like that in 4. In the old 4. Yes. Yes, I remember that. And then there's a couple of puzzles in 7 where you have to turn things to where their shadow matches. Yeah. And those were always hard for me too. Yeah. That was seven, right? Yeah. Oh, 
Oh no, it's Rebecca. Rebecca, can you upstairs? do it? <laughs> but she'll have to wait her dang turn because I I am looting. That's right. That's actually in the original, in one of the paths. If you left Rebecca in that mansion and she never leaves, that you'll get this scene. She, oh. gets, she gets attacked by a hunter in the library. Should be in here. You don't see Chris very often, do you? So this is kind of new to you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mostly most play Jill. Most of the time you play Jill. Almost. And most of the time you play the original. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen this cutscene. Aw. Poor Rebecca. If you wait for him to get up, he'll knock him down again. But if you shoot him too soon, he'll kind of come right at you. Right. Rebecca. Chris, Aww. Are you okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here Aww. anymore. We have to get to the others and find This is no place for Rebecca. She's not defending herself from these hunters. Then I'll go ahead. All she's got is her Rebecca. bulletproof vest oh, no. and her fanny pack. <laughs> stay cool and use your better judgment. Got it? Get a gun. I can handle myself. Good oh, luck. Apparently you can. <laughs> Good luck. You just <laughs> proved that. <laughs> Don't have a gun. I didn't mean to get you worried. Worried? You didn't, you're almost hunter food. <laughs> if you don't save her right there, I wonder if she's like dead, dead. Probably. Okay, now maybe I can loot that room. I was so rudely interrupted. Uh, I need a light. Lamp right here, maybe? Yay, Ooh, shotgun shot. yes. Definitely. Is that it? No, oh. there's something else. So now we have to kill a snake. I think that's it. Oops. He's not too hard as long as you kind of like stand his butt. Mm -hmm. It's not too big of a deal. If you get tired, let me know. We'll we'll finish tomorrow. After you kill the snake, I was gonna see if you wanted to watch a movie. Sure. The game is kind of long. Mm -hmm. Lots of running back and forth in the item crate. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. When I first played this game, I was always kind of confused where to go next because they put the area in a totally different spot. It's behind that long hallway with the statue that, with the blades. And it's kind of well hidden. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Oh, see, I thought it was down there and behind the stairs. No, you do have to put um, two of those uh, umbrella things in it. And that goes down to where Lisa is. Oh, okay. You're just not ready for that yet. Not yet. We have to go to the snake room first. And then it'll, in the elevator, get the battery and whatnot. Um, no, that's not right. I'm down here. Ooh, spooky. Yeah, it should be in here. I think the zombies are still in here. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, yep. I hear them. And the crimson head. Mm-hmm. That was scary in the guardhouse when he came from upstairs. And yeah, it was. <laughs> or you came from downstairs and he was like waiting for you. Yeah, dude. We've been pretty lucky with Crimson Heads. We've done a really good job of disposing of them. And yeah, this is there it. There you go. Snake time. I'll try not to die. Oh, I might need that. Let's grab that. So I watched Rebel Moon and it was kind of boring. Yeah, I tuned out and started texting halfway through. I noticed that. It's like, wow, she's really not watching this. <laughs> it's just kind of like, I don't know. It's missing like some like lightheartedness. Light yeah, there was no lightheartedness. No comedy of any kind. Uh, yeah. It took itself very seriously. Oh, God, yes. It felt like Rogue <laughs> One, but worse. Yes, it did. And I did not like Rogue One at all. I, I, I really don't like the new Star Wars either. But this new show is trying to be like Star Wars, but without the soul. Yeah. It, it had some elements of Star Wars and some elements of Lord of the Rings and some elements of Harry Potter, but none of it landed. Yeah. And... Yeah, like the griffin? Yes. He even bowed. Yeah. The hippogriff. Yeah. The hip hippogriff. <laughs> Aren't they griffins also, though? Yeah. In certain mythology. Whoa, he came oh, the other way. What a dickhead. <laughs> Whoa. That was close. Oh my god. Kind of scary. Oh, he's going so fast. Yeah, he goes... <gasps> Run. He goes pretty fast. Where is he? There he is. There he is. They call him Yawn. Yeah. I don't want to waste my shot there. Is it coming back around or? Yep. Oh shit. Got him. Good job. Did you even get hit once? Nope. Very nice. Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> Poor snake. Just wanted a friend. <laughs> we have to go to the elevator next to get the battery. Is there anything else here? Nope. You could go out this door to get to where the battery is, but of course they locked it in this of one. Of course. Let's see broken. Damn, it's broken. <laughs> Seems like it. Did you want me to finish the mansion entirely, or do you want me to save? It's up to you. We're almost done. Just have to get the battery from the elevator. And that's it. You can do that, and then we can get up in the morning and beat this game and then play PT. We only have maybe an hour and a half left. Yeah. Around that. PT is probably in 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just a hallway. The 
Like it was like deep in like the depths of hell. Okay, the quickest way to do this would just be go down the hallway again. I need to go to an item crate, but oh god. Right? That's a long walk. Maybe you have room to just go get the battery and then. No, I really don't. Because you could combine those two green herbs. Yeah, but I got that metal on me. There's probably a lot of crap in there. Guess I can see. Because the best way to go is the item crate, but there's hunters everywhere. I guess I can just shoot them. Quit being a puss. <laughs> just do it. Just do it, man. Watch me die right here. <laughs> One down. Yep. You can do it. Two down. And the shotgun ammo is just depleting as we speak. Mm -hmm. That should be a... Uh, that wasn't so bad. No. Okay, so we'll put these up. We're doing really good on herbs. Very good on herbs. I never have this many. <laughs> <laughs> I've been pretty lucky. Uh, let's put this up here. Uh, I think we're good. Now, you don't need any of those metal things at the elevator? Not yet. Just need room for inventory. Now we can go to the elevator. This game is so comfy. Mm -hmm. So much soul. It is. I wish I was a good CG artist. I would totally make like my own Resident Evil game. Ooh, that'd be cool. You know how much work that would be, though? Mm-hmm. To do it by yourself, to make a game like this? It'd take you years. Yeah, it would. With Unity, it might be possible. Well, I mean, it's not this engine that's the problem. The problem is just having the, the, the art, the, you know, yeah. art down, the CG <laughs> backgrounds and stuff. I mean, these guys are top of their game. It's true. It takes games like this. Wait, what? What did I say? Oh, okay. It just takes a second to get here. I mean, a team of probably like 50 people made this. I don't think it's feasible to be done by yourself. Mm -mm. That's why for like, I'm making a pixel game because it's a lot easier to do pixel art than stuff like this. I didn't get him? Okay, I got him. We got two herbs. Three. Three? Oh, there is two green and a red. I can mix one of the reds and green though. All right, hallway is clear. And that's the big door the snake is. I was talking about that's Oh broken. yeah, that's yeah. broken. It would be nice if that door worked. It would be, huh? Come here. Come here. Come here, boy. Oh, Too crap. Too close. Too close. Oh, I put a grenade in his mouth. <laughs> Remember, stand, stand back. Far away. Before you do that. Ooh, shotgun shells. Two. And you really needed those. <laughs> yeah, they're being kind of stingy with shotgun shells. Yeah. I used half of them on a damn stupid Plant 42. That really bummed me out, man. I think I didn't do it very good, though. I think I was shooting them when this pedal was down. I wasted a lot of ammo. Is that it? No. Nope. Something else is here. 
Oh, oh on the ground. Grenade. Yeah. yeah, flash grenade. Those are awesome. I love how they don't take up inventory space. Heck yeah. I think we can get out that red door right there. It's where the crimson dudes hang out, though. I think I probably prefer taking the elevator. So we are done with the mansion forever. Awesome. Besides, we have to go to the down there below the first hallway again. That's it. Then we'll do the caves, and then the lab, and that's it. Which the lab is like, as you know, it's like 20 minutes long. It's, mm -hmm. it's not a big deal. We'll be at tomorrow morning, no problem. Sounds great. Someone's alive? Oh, it's still him. I've been like avoiding him for a while. <laughs> I know, he's still hanging out in the kitchen. <laughs> hanging out in the kitchen, he's like a Hufflepuff. Yep. <laughs> Um, we're going back outside, so we'll need to go through the shortcut. Oops. We'll need to, uh, before I forget, I'll, I'll take the crank out as well, because we'll need the crank again. I like with a shortcut, you need to avoid that whole hallway over there yeah. entirely. You don't have to even go over there. Or the second floor. Thank you so much. Thank you for the brownies. Are they done? Yes. I'll have mom test it. <laughs> if mom drops dead, I won't eat it. There's <laughs> just no rat poisoning. <laughs> very, very oh, good. Thank you, thank Sam. You. She likes bacon. Mm hmm. Is it good? Mm-hmm. It's awesome. So many door opening sequences. I can see why people mod them out in the PC version. <laughs> I can see why they do that. If yeah. you're them a lot, you don't want to see the damn doors ever again in your life. No more doors. I like how in um, Final Fantasy XI, when we were playing COP yeah. and we went to the Femina Aqueducts, remember yeah. um, we went up that one ladder and it was the ladder scene from Resident Evil. They must have played Resident Evil recently or something. It was on, like, on their mind. Mm -hmm. You could tell it was heavily inspired. Yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and save it here. I'll be it tomorrow. Good run. Mm -hmm. I haven't died yet. That's a plus, right? That's right. <laughs> Alright, it's day two of uh, Rebirth. We are on... Still in the mansion. Kind of. We're about to leave, I on think. On our way out. <laughs> I'll have to remember what I'm doing here. So we, okay, I already have, have the battery and the crank ready to cool. go. So I think we should be good. Don't think we need these just yet. So we're going to the fountain. Don't you need that wolf and eagle? Not yet. We use that in the, uh, the caves. Oh, I thought that was on the fountain. We're not to the fountain yet. Oh. We're going to the caves. I you think. just said the fountain. Uh. Well, the waterfall. Oh, okay. So this way.
Yeah, it's spooky out here, isn't it? We'll have to get that right here off of that when we're ready to, when we find the thing it goes in, the mm -hmm. little metal bracket it goes in. I remember that. And that's to go like under the stairs in the main hall. Yeah. Where Harry Potter lives. <laughs> <laughs> we may have to kill some dogs here. Yeah. Two and one. Oh, there was a third one. Yeah, there's three. I did not see him over there. All right. That problem solved. And you can pick up an herb and use it. Damn right. There probably is some more stuff out here, but we really have limited inventory. I'll come back for it later. We'll come back here. We'll go back to the mansion. Mm-hmm. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Battery first, and then we do it. I was thinking out loud again. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> I'm speaking for the audience. Uh, uh, no, don't do that yet. Dummy. <laughs> Today is New Year's Eve. Isn't that weird? It's That's the last day of last 23. Last day of 23. Man. Man. It's hard to believe. Yeah, 2024 is the 20th anniversary of my graduation. And that's scary. Mm-hmm. I graduated in 05, so I'll be the next year. Where are they? They come? Ooh, I heard one. Come on. Come chase me. Oh, One shot. Well, two shots. One for each. It worked. Okay, we'll put the battery in. And then... Go up. Then you can raise the water with the crank. Yep. This puzzle is exactly the same as the original. I can't remember the last time I played this version. It's been a while, actually. Maybe four years, five years? It's been a while, especially as Chris. Oh, that's Chris. It's been even longer than that. Yeah. Chris doesn't get enough love from me. <laughs> it's those inventory slots. <laughs> that is true. If he only had a backpack or a fanny pack or something, he'd get played more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think they did put a chest. <laughs> I think they did put a chest inside the cave now, so I guess I probably can pick those herbs up safely. Because I think before there was no chest out there, but I think they added it. In the original game, there's a, there's a typewriter, and that's it. Yeah. But now there's a typewriter and a chest. Well, and you don't have the battery anymore, so that helps. So where are the herbs out here? Are they all right here? Might just be two. Oh, maybe one blue, one green. Is that it now? It used to be more than that. Yeah, wow. That's it. That's it? Man. Wasn't it like two red and three green? Or two green? Outside? Right here. Um, I think it was. I don't remember. I think it was a blue and a red and maybe a green or two. God, I'm getting Windows update pop-ups. That's not good. <laughs> On the OB OBS up there, like, that's not good. Leave me alone, fucker. <laughs> We're playing our GameCube. Leave us alone. Another reason why I wanted to get my Mac to be my streaming device, because Mac will leave the fuck alone more than Windows. That is true. Which is weird. <laughs> it's true. 
But unfortunately, uh, my plugins don't work on the Mac. Should Maybe I someday. Probably. Why not? Mining area. It was not called that in the original. Down. We don't need this crank anymore. We need the other crank. Mm hmm. What is it with this guy in cranks, anyways? <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of herbs. I'm still bummed out. I wasted so much ammo on that stupid plant. <laughs> You gotta let it go, man. I don't, think I, I don't think I did it right. <laughs> well, you couldn't see, to be fair, so. There's blood stains underneath the boulder. I think they're your blood yeah, stains. Probably me. <laughs> the rock was the hardest monster for me in uh, the first Resident Evil. Yeah, when she played, the rock hit her. 12 times, I think. A ton. Yeah. <laughs> the rock. Will you take the shaft, honey? Sure. <laughs> I know you will. <laughs> that sounds a little dirty. Nah. <laughs> Handgun magazine. Don't they know by now everyone's using their shotgun? <laughs> There's something else here. Over here. Glittery on the ground. Oh, another magazine. I don't remember that. Oh, you use handgun again in the lab. There's a lot of zombies. Mm. That's true. Shotgun's kind of overkill. But there's hunters here, so I'm I'm taking it with me. Enrico? Enrico. Is that voice Don't Enrico's? Come any closer, Chris. What happened? And what's Enrico's last name? Double Marini. Closer. Enrico, wait. Oh. He thought like Chris is the backstabber. Um, well, it is Marini. You uh, are Enrico. so good. Damn right. I like my Resident Evil. <laughs> Double crosser. He was in Zero as well, even though I've only like played Zero like twice in my life. Enrico was a veteran known for his impervious mental strength and had golf as his hobby. <laughs> <laughs> Status deceased. As we can tell here. As we can tell. <laughs> Shot in what looks to be the bulletproof ve bulletproof vest, but um, didn't do a very good job. Okay, so in the old game he holds a magazine, this one he holds a crank. This round, one's round, right? No, it's oh, the hex. hexagonal. Yeah. yeah. Maybe round was in two. Oh, jeez, Hunter. I never come back here, so I'm gonna leave. <laughs> you just shot him once and left. I mean, I mean, he's gonna I bleed mean, out. <laughs> I never come back here unless he comes to the door. It's be a waste, you know. Mm -hmm. I'll never come back there. He might come to the door though. They removed a few rooms here. There's an extra hallway missing from the original. You remember? specifically remember that boulder. Oh, you would remember that. <laughs> oh, no, no. More hunters. What the hell? Did they get you in a stun lock? Or something. <gasps> oh, jeez, you're bleeding out. Oh. Yeah, that was not good. Mm -mm. Like, you came around the corner and there they were. Yeah. 
Yeah, that kind of scared me for a minute. Oh yeah, me too. Thought you might be a goner. Yeah. Well, I'm still here. <laughs> We have quite a bunch. Yeah, we have a lot of handgun ammo now. Mm -hmm. Don't really need that yet, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and save spots just in case. Don't need that yet. I need a hill, so I'll use, uh, use one of these bad boys. There we go. We have ten rounds left. Let's make them count. I save all my shotgun for the hunter section. Mm-hmm. Green herb. Oh, did I miss it? Yep. I'll catch you on the way back. Don't let me uh, forget. We do get a uh, flamethrower here. That's just unique to Chris. Oh, yeah. Kind of cool. Yeah, that is cool. Great for the spider. I don't know if I'll use it. Because I, I, I'm, I'm in the original, the, the flamethrower seems to be kind of crappy. I guess I can try. Run, Chris! I might bring some health, though, honestly, for the spider fight. Now that I think about it. Dang, you did that on the first try. Because I don't want to be like that loser that dies from the, you know, from spider. The spider. Yeah, let's go ahead. I forgot that it's so close here. You can grab that green herb, too. Yeah. I forgot the spider's name. Me too. Let's Wasn't see. it like, um, Black Tiger? I think it's Black Tiger. Let's actually it is Black Tiger. Nice. Let's take, because I think it may poison you, so I'll take a brown. Just in case. Some brown brown. <laughs> what is brown brown? It's cocaine mixed with gunpowder. Ooh, wrong button. I do that a lot in this game. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sneaky hunter. Hell yeah, I've got some shotgun ammo. Nice. We're getting a little low. We have six. We have five rounds on the other shotgun we can use. If we want. Alright, here is Black Tiger. But he's not a tiger and he's actually a spider. Don't ask me why. <laughs> right. I don't know if the flamethrower is good. I'll try. If it if it doesn't seem like it's doing a very good job, I'm gonna peace out. Oh. Yeah. That's not a good. Not a good start. Um, I don't remember there being two. Hey, the flamethrower wow. actually works really good, actually. <laughs> it is definitely what's recommended. It didn't seem that good in the original. Uh-uh. We don't need that knife since we have a flamethrower. I think your flamethrower's out. Oh, really? Yeah. Holy moly. I guess I will use it. Don't you have to, like, exit and come back or babies will come out? Or no? Well, plus we got spiders up there. Shit. Let's leave and come back and see if that yeah. spider goes away. 
Hate to waste ammo. In the original, yeah, little baby spiders come out, but in this one, there seems to be two normal sized spiders. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's there now. Nice. Good call. There should be a chest back here. Unless they moved it. We did good. Mm -hmm. Oh, they did move the chest. Used to be a room back here. And you're out of room. Yeah, they moved the chest from that room, extra room to back to the... Right. Which makes sense. Yeah. It'd be cool if you have two knives. One in each hand. That would be cool. Run around like a badass. I think you have to take that flamethrower to the other door, don't you? The other uh, plate. Don't remember that. Where's the other knife? There it is. Move it on up. <laughs> Gotta be nice and neat. I thought we'll use this ammo sooner or later. Mm-hmm. Might as well hang on I think to you it. need one green to heal, don't you? Yes. Not bad, all things considered. We will need the emblem, the the metal, metals, whatever for next. But we'll have to come up here and again, anyways, because we have to go down that mine shaft. It's new. Wait a second. I don't think you need the flamethrower again. I'm gonna leave it there. I don't think you need it. Guess we'll find out. I think you do, though. <laughs> I think to open the door in the hallway here, I think you have to have the flamethrower. Which is kind of annoying. Oh. There's a slot there, but the door opened. Do this one tw uh, two times, three times, three times. Yeah. Yeah. One more. Run. The Indiana Jones section. Or Laura Croft. <laughs> well, Laura Croft ripped off in Indiana Jones, but yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I love the first Tomb Raider so much. It was great. We should play the anniversary, because I've done the original one. We should, do the, we should do the anniversary version. Yeah. That one was fun. I beat it. Warcraft's dead. I haven't really heard any news about any new ones. Hmm. I know the last one didn't do very well. Or something. Um. Is there a wall that comes out here like the old days? Maybe right there? <laughs> That's so funny. Oops. Let's see if this is the right one. Yeah, that was a... It's kind of hard to see the wall. It, it blends in. Yeah. It was really hard to see in the old one. They added more to the puzzle. You have to spin it around now. Crystal Dynamics has confirmed it is working on a new Tomb Raider game. 
It will be a follow-up to the reboot trilogy. It will be using Unreal Engine 5, and that's about all we know. <laughs> well, they're gonna milk that cow until it's depleted. Gonna spin it one more time. Honestly, I just like the original one. That's the yeah. That's it. I like the original and anniversary and legends, and that's it. I beat the the remake was okay at first. I liked it at first, but once I beat it once, I never wanted to play it again. Mm-hmm. Ooh, almost perfect. Is that perfect? It is wow, perfect. Look at that. Good job. Kind of plan that better. And that's it. We're done here. Now we can go down there and confront Lisa. Did I get everything here? Missing one blue herb in the hallway. Mm hmm. Was it over here? Yeah. Now it should be clear. No. No. Not clear. There's another there's another blue herb. Uh oh. That's okay. I don't think you find much more poisonous stuff here on out, if any. There is no more spiders. I think you're good. must have been the last poisonous thing in the game. Yeah, I don't remember there being anything poisonous in the lab. No, there's not. And, uh... The chimeras really sucked. They killed me before. But I don't think they're poisonous. No. We have herbs coming out of our anus. <laughs> In order of greatness. <laughs> you caught that. You caught my OCD. Yes. Where is it? Way up there. I'm going to go ahead and save it. We've done a lot. Mm-hmm. I'm paranoid. I haven't even died yet. Nope. Just been, just been careful. Safe and sorry. I've died before. I was getting cocky. I was worried about those hunters that ambushed you, but you did good. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I almost ate it there. <laughs> not going to lie. They kind of got me in a weird stun lock or yeah, something. Yeah, they did. I couldn't move. Couldn't shoot. Blood was like pouring from your shoulder. I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't pretty. I don't know why. This part's a puzzle too. Let's see. I think you have to line up the... Oh, yeah. There we go. So the code is a uh, four, two, three, one. the crank before you go down there oh you already got it I don't think you need it again but there's a chest down there 
think we're done with the crane forever. Oh. Yeah, there's a box down there. But we don't, we need to go. Um. Yeah, we need to go with through here. Lisa's gonna be chasing us, but we don't have to shoot her. It's a waste of ammo. It doesn't hurt her. Oh, okay. If you're playing a big game of Ring Around the Rosie, <laughs> my favorite game. Let's see. Uh oh. You have to go a long way around. I don't think. Lever. You, I don't think you can use this yet. Because this will. This is for the flamethrower, but you have to have a flamethrower. A broken oh. flamethrower. There's some items here somewhere, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. There should be some crap up here. Ooh, magnum. Ooh, magnum rounds. Some some dumbass probably wasted that on the, on Lisa right there. Right. Thinking, oh god, there's magnum rounds. I bet I can use that against her. Almost full again already. Good lord. Okay, we have to scoot this on top of the lift. And this is all new. Which when I first played it, I was, I was confused. Like, what the heck's going on here? Right. More pushing boxes. It wouldn't be Resident Evil without levers and cranks and pushing boxes. That's right. Should be at the typewriter area now. Where is she? I, oh, she's right behind me. Oh my god. Such a cool enemy. <laughs> yeah, it is. And tragic. Yeah. One of Umbrella's monsters. Oh, the lift's broken. Okay, so let's put this up. Magnum up. got a lot of rounds. We don't need the crank anymore. If that thing turn itself on again, that'd be a bad way to go. It'd be a crisp sandwich.
Okay, now we have to put the flamethrower on. You kind of want to take your time here so she'll follow you, otherwise she'll turn around. You don't want that to happen. Right. Because this is timed, I think. If you wait too long, the lever will come back up. We got time for the red herb, don't we? Sure. Don't know if I have room for everything. That would suck if it went down right here and Lisa's right there waiting for me. Mm-hmm. And you're, <laughs> you can't get in. It's Lisa's room. I know. It's so, like, creepy and sad. Should be. Oh, there it is. Is it another puzzle box? Let's see. Oh, no. Just opens right up. Alright, we got the stone ring. We got both umbrella things. There's something written on the back. Progenitor virus. Remember from Resident Evil 5? Mm hmm. This is the first reference to it. It was also given to Wesker. Yeah. Jessica administered. Administered virus type A, plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation, virus fusion negative action disposed. So she, they disposed of their mom. Lisa, type B, uh, positive but delayed fusion. Body modification observed, constant results, status continued, protective observation, George action terminated. <laughs> As we saw what happened to him. Yeah. There's a journal left by someone. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that she would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was a fake. Not my real mom. Same face, but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to give face back to mother. I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so she doesn't go away. Because mom's sad when I met her without her face. Whoa. From inside box, scent of mommy. Maybe true mother there. Stone box hard. It hurt. Still rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. She's uh, having issues there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the Lisa storyline's like really sad and... Dark. Dark. We mix a full one. Is that it? That is it. I always thought it was cool that this kind of goes up to the that new shack outside. Mm-hmm. So we, as now we know why she gets around so quickly. She, this is her shack out here. Yep. Another mixed herb. Look at all this. I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, yeah. You're not gonna run out of health for a while. Yes, I hope not. Okay, we need... The metal object? And we can grab the one at the exit. Mm -hmm. I don't think we need the metals... Right now, because there's, there's, another, there's another box before we get there, so we should be okay with just this. I think. And now we're going to the lab. Well, after we defeat Lisa. Right. Which, if I remember, it isn't very hard.
It's my zombie friend. <laughs> Same way as last time, just run behind the tree. Yep. That's how you do that one. It's just hanging out. <laughs> Oh, there's zombies here now. <laughs> you just like walked right into him. I didn't see him. <laughs> I thought there's birds out here, but there's zombies now. They changed it. He left a grenade in his mouth. <laughs> I thought I stabbed him. Uh-uh. Oh, the green is oh that's okay. It's fine. That's I'll never fine. I'll never come back here. The poor guy. <laughs> He's gonna walk around with a grenade in his mouth forever. Yep. At least until the mansion blows up. But he might still be out here. I mean, he might be too far away from the explosion. That That's right. Who we'll just, knows? He'll just walk around here with a grenade in his mouth. <laughs> until Raccoon City gets nuked. So that was kind of the trick to the puzzle. You have to grab that one too. Yep. I like how we like successfully avoided like half the mansion with a certain path we t went on. Mm hmm. You don't have to go down the dog hallway ever. And originally they added spiders there, and then this one I have no idea what they added. I'm too afraid of hunters. Uh, yeah, no kidding. It's probably spiders again. I'm starting to get a headache again a little bit. It's like every day. It's not good. Maybe getting your new glasses will help. I hope so. <laughs> That's so creepy. <laughs> Wonder what's on the other side of the door. Let's go find out. <laughs> when you first play the game, if you ever come back here, that, that you get that cussing, you're like, what the hell? Right? You know, that was not in the original <laughs> game. You're not going to take health? There's another chest. Oh, okay. I'm gonna do something that I always forget to do is where you take the medals. Otherwise, you have to come all the way back up here to this chest and get the medals. So I'll I'll go ahead and grab them now, and I'll take some health too. We need these two things. Is that enough rounds? Yeah, you don't really shoot her. Only if you need to. It's mostly you just pull, just push the stones over. Oh yeah, that's right. I remember. But I'm gonna go ahead and save it. Just be on the safe side. I'll kick myself. Mm-hmm. I die like a chump. Come a long ways. <laughs> Do this. There's something in here, but I'm not, I don't remember where it was. I don't see anything. Yeah, it might just be an herb if there is something, though. Mm. 
You're a bit of a mess up. <laughs> Chris, take a piece of the action. <laughs> oh my oh, gosh, Wesker. Those were the four stones that she was talking about. Yeah, he knows that she's a mess up because he's probably part of the experiment. Oh, I'm sure. She pushed Wesker off? I think she did. <laughs> He's like, oh. That's pretty funny. Oops. Is that a time paradox? I think so. Aww. Well, Wesker can suck it. Yeah. I don't like him anyways. No. Mother. He comes back, I think, so. I mean, no matter what. Right. I think if he does stay there and he doesn't fall, he just says, like, some generic thing, like, go investigate. I'll stay here. <laughs> Probably. You know? Yeah. See, you'll need the medals here. Yep. You have to go all the way back. It's not that far, but... Was it this one? Or the other one? Eagle? The other one. No. Huh? What? Was that slightly, like, turned? Go on here. Oh, there we go. Stupid thing. <laughs> Get your ass in the slot. When I played slot machines, that's what I played too. Get your ass in the slot. Stupid $20 bill. Wasn't there, wasn't there like an herb out here? There wasn't the original game. No, not nope. anymore. Where's the... Did I run past it? Oh, I right did. here. It wasn't really clear. It was like, in the, I thought it was the other end on the original. I think we have to swap disc here. Yep, the tiny little CD right, wasn't well, big enough. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Yeah, I love the little small desk in GameCube. Me too. I think they held uh, like 1 gig, 1.4 gig around that. I didn't have very many GameCube games as a teenager. Um, I had Luigi's Mansion, and then I had like a three-pack of Zelda that had like Ocarina of Time and Majorca's Mask and then one other one. Oh, that's cool. Um and then I had Wave Race, which I played a lot of. I mostly just had Resident Evil and like Pikmin. I never played Pikmin. And like Animal Crossing. Loved Animal Crossing. <laughs> I haven't played the new one yet though. Our kids have played the crap out of it. Yeah, it looks fun. I, I know I like the original a lot. I never did play those. They looked fun though. It's a very original, different game at the time. Uh, is that it? Yep. We can go ahead and switch back to our handgun. We have to worry about Crimson Head still. But I guess we'll I guess we'll take that. I hate to take so much crap with me though. Yeah. Cause you know you're gonna be picking stuff we'll, up. We'll just take care of the ones out here. The ones that are naked never come back. They just they I mean they always respawn. Not as crimson heads though. And there's fuel right there's there. There's fuel, yep. Yeah. <laughs> the hell, dude? Backed up, like, mm mm. We can match you a lot faster in this one. Jeez. There's, yeah, the blood's pouring yeah, out. Yeah, I see the blood. One more zombie. 
Let's take care of these guys, and then we can put it back up. Herbs. Hold on. Pop his head. Still alive. Nice. Oh, nice. Don't you love that? Isn't that so rewarding? <laughs> it's very satisfying. <laughs> it's morbid, but it is. Is that it for her? No, I'm still missing something. There must be something out here in the hallway. Here in the corner, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, whoa. There's three. There used to be two. What the hell, Capcom? <laughs> Gotta keep you on your toes. No kidding. Man. And he's still alive. Or undead. Undead alive. <laughs> Ladder up. Ah, there it is. The mo disc. Second of three mo disc. Are we done? Luckily, you didn't yes. need an old key. I love the map though, showing if you have an item still. Oh, me too. But that should be in every Resident Evil. Yes. Game. Isn't it like that in the new ones? I think so. That's awesome. If I remember right, um, if you don't grab something in the new ones, like a little picture, yeah. there's like a little icon of what you left behind. So you can be like, oh yeah, I left a green herb right there. It's even better. It's even better. I can't wait to put the new ones again. Me too. Seven, eight, two, and three. We have them all on PS4 now. Five. Some are on PS4 only. It just plays PS4 games on PS5. Oh yeah. I don't think we need this anymore. I'm gonna put it up. Um, for the Modisk readers, we may need that soon. But there is another chest down there. I like the reflections on the puddles of water on the ground. Mm -hmm. And this door is going to be locked by the computer. I like the music down here. It's spooky. It is spooky. Let's go unlock the computer first. What's he doing? <laughs> you missed me. Look at the change of the layout. V Act. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them V Acts. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After a transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Is that Crimson Head? I think so. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. Yep. That dangerous and precious proto prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. That's the one out there in the Yeah, back. with the death masks. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Pretty cool. What's the login? Uh, is it Ada for the password? Yeah, John and then Ada. Yeah. The same as though, but they changed the password though on the second screen. It's used to be, used to be mole, mole, and now it's cell. Now it's cell. Yeah. yeah. Let's try mole and see if something happens. Oh. Nope. No Easter egg. Thought there is an Easter egg though.
Maybe I'm thinking of Metal Gear Solid. In MGS4, there's uh, Easter eggs when you put the password in the computer wrong. You've got to play MGS4 again. It's been like 10 years. Yeah, Monday. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're done. Well, there might be something here, though. Yeah. Ooh, that's creepy. Still something here. One green herb. Oh, and a flash grenade. Nice. Anything else? Yep, still something here. There should be like a roll of film somewhere. But where's it at? They moved it on me. Oh, Magnum rounds. Never mind. Is the film not here? Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's not in this room anymore. Must not be. He died quick. <laughs> <laughs> Must have shot him right in the eye. Must have. <laughs> spot. Oh, God. Oh, this room's unlocked now. Modisk. Final Modisk. And my god, holy crap, we're full. Yep. Be right back. <laughs> With Chris, it's, it's it's normal. Yep, it's a thing. This is trip 31 to the treasure chest. <laughs> <laughs> when you're um, editing the video, you could count how many times you had to go back to the chest. Oh, God. <laughs> That'd be a lot. Got a lot of magnum rounds. Mm hmm. Yes, I know. I'm OCD. It'll be okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to mix all I prefer of these. It. <laughs> well, that one instance where all your herbs were all mixed up, I was like, wait a minute, what is this? Now, what's going on here? What is this? <laughs> Not cool. We have standards. <laughs> You're damn right. Say my name. <laughs> Heisenberg. You're damn right. <laughs> <laughs> he was so intense. <laughs> you know who I am. <laughs> he let being bad a little bit too much. Yeah, he did. Oh, did you need those modisks? Not here. Oh. Cerberus. Neptune. Hunter. Tyrant. Inside out, man. Inside out, man. That's right. There's no film, I guess. Now it's just always in here. Yep. He was that in the far right. Hmm. <laughs> Those weird sunglasses. I don't know. No, we do need the film still. Because I think that's a code. They just changed the location. Oh, cool. Map. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not reading all that. No. The security protocols, those are kind of boring. I read it last time. I, I didn't want to do it ever again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Too long I'm with you on that one. <laughs> yeah, I think you do have to have the a different roll of film. To open that door back there to watch that videotape from Kenneth. Might be in here. I do think you another mode disc. 
I thought you only need three. Or a reader. GameCube. Nice. Thing. It's going to be in there, but we'll have to come back because I don't have my modus on me. Oh, I unlocked the door in the hallway, huh? I don't remember. Not that door yet. I got confused. So one door is unlocked in here and then the one upstairs. And that one room with the... to figure out the, the key combination. But we already know what it is, so... Herb on the ground. Yeah, I saw that. I'm kind of... Conserving your ammo. Yeah, I mean, your space. inventory. I think we're good on health, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll never use all that. Mother Nikki. Whoa. Died just in time. So I'm put some clothes in that guy. <laughs> I'll take that Ooh, though. more Magnum. I like the roaches everywhere. Gross. Did you notice that? Yeah. Oh, there's that. There's slide. the slides. This room's a lot different too. Facts. The contents of the facts are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this facts is forbidden. After reading the contents of the facts, it must be destroyed, which means they didn't, they didn't do follow that. instructions. Yeah. <laughs> we expect a significant increase in the virus damage done by the recent T virus outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T virus and died. It has, also, concern. <laughs> <laughs> it has also been reported that almost all the survivors of the accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern, our security security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern, there's a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. <laughs> However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success. Our research results actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against the first. Ah, there's a, see, yeah, we need the disc. My bad. Where's the... Um, Maybe you get the key when you like go in that door upstairs. I think it, maybe. Let's grab this in the ground though. Might as well, right? Yeah, you're heading back to the chest anyways. As as usual in this game. If you love watching scenes of doors opening, this game has you covered. I thought I can put it in there. What? No, no, no. There we go. Now we can see the eight four six two. Eight four six two. There we go. Nice. Here's the tape. We can watch the tape from Kenneth. Even though we only hear one gunshot, but that's okay. He shot like four or five times there. Yeah. <laughs> Aw. Poor 
Oh, Kenneth. There's another. Where's the other item? I don't see anything glowing. Nah, it's probably hidden. I'm tapping the crap out of the button. <laughs> There it is. Shotgun rounds. Didn't even see those. Yeah, it's it hidden. If it wasn't for that map, though, I would never have even mm -hmm. cared to look. But when you first play Resident Evil game, you're, you're, you like you hover the walls and press the button. That's true. Like a madman. <laughs> we need to get our mode discs out. It's that time. To save Jill. Yeah, when I beat it, um, the first one, as Jill, I didn't save Chris. That was awful. It was awful. But we got a scene in the helicopter that we had never seen before. You were like, got lazy and didn't want to do it anymore. Like, no, I'm not going back. I'm beating this thing. Like you were done with Resident <laughs> Evil. It was a cool scene, though, in, um, yeah. in the helicopter with her and Barry. It was. Barry was, like, going to go save his kids. But you only have so much patience, I guess. Yeah. Modisks? Yeah. We are so pressed for space. You really can't afford to carry around uh, health. health and stuff. I know. <laughs> I never carry around health, and I'm always full. So if you're, like, really learning the game and you don't trust yourself, oof. Well, I've never played as Chris. I always play as Jill, and I always carry health. <laughs> That's a lot of trips to the cargo item space. Mm-hmm. But then you, know, you don't have to pick up everything if you're but I, I like to do it just because I like doing it. Yeah. Do I need to? Yeah. Not really. I like to. I'm a, I'm a pack rat. I like to collect all the stuff and throw <laughs> it in the chest and organize it. Yep. <laughs> it's kind of half the fun for me. Um, I like watching you play both of the versions of Resident Evil 4 because you constantly rearrange your briefcase. Oh, look, it's half the fun. <laughs> it's like a little mini game. It is. It's even funner in VR because you can like Move it around with your actual hands. <laughs> right. It's really fun. I love the VR. I just, VR hurts my head. I have to play like in short bursts. It's a GameCube. A it black is. one, just like ours. They got rid of the uh, Bible verses. <laughs> Yeah, it was out of place and odd. It was. There's one secure security jail cell door. There's, there's another door that's locked inside there. Mm-hmm. They take their security very seriously. And this is one cell, too. Right. So if you ever earn your place back there, you've really messed up. You're a bad boy. Oh. Anything down here? Uh, I think there is. Dagger. Is that it? Yep. Nice. This room should be locked. Oh, no, it's not locked anymore. It was locked in the other room, remember? Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and use the key in the other door so we'll drop the key, I think. They changed it on me. There you go. I'll go in here first. This room's a lot different. I think you push this. Get the shotgun shells. Going the vent shot. There's a chimera Ooh. farting around out there. <laughs> oh, I hate those what guys. What the hell? Why did I read a message? No, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> the heck was that all about? Don't read a message, shoot. Yeah, I was holding the, I was holding the shoot button down. 
What the hell? <laughs> okay, there's another. Where did that come from? Okay, so this is the one that's outside, locked inside. Oh, we'll never uh -oh. open. Shit. They're so creepy. Yeah, they are. Let's go this way. Oh. This ain't right. Is there more shotgun shells on that shelf? Or no, it's no? just a, it's just design looks oh. that way. I think we have to go in this one. Can you pause it for a second? What for? Okay. Back. Uh, let's see if I'm in the right spot now. Oh, there's the mode disc reader. And that's two or three. Mm-hmm. Is there anything else here? No. Almost done, babe. We're almost there. Almost. <laughs> I know you get burned out of Resident Evil after five hours. <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can, I promise. <laughs> I like the That's kind of sad, I know. <laughs> Off Whoa. with your head. Will he still come back? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think the Neckward ones do. We do have, um, let's see, that we do have a rim in here, but it's for saving and stuff. But we have to put that last mode disc in. Oh, I love the music in the save rooms. Me too. <laughs> no, no, no. There we go. There you go. Let's see if that's it. Yep. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, God, look at the stuff we have. Oh my gosh, I know. It's becoming a pain in the ass to organize this. We haven't even mixed all the green herbs yet. Uh-uh. Good God. Okay, let's go put the last mode disc in. Get the elevator going. Talk to Jill. Come back here. Beat time. Go rescue Jill and beat Tyrant again. And then it's over. <laughs> and then it's lunchtime. And then it's lunchtime. <laughs> well, it's 10.30, so I guess it would be brunch. Yeah. It'll take you 30 minutes to beat this. Yeah, probably so. Then it'll be lunch. Bitch. <laughs> Suck on that. You know, they might poison you. I don't know. No. No. I'll take it back to the fuel room. Okay, we get the fuel. That's a new step they added. Get the fuel, mm -hmm. bring it back. Actually, let's, let's save a step. Let's go put the mode disc in. Go back, talk to Jill, get the fuel, then come back. Sounds good. Hey, come back here. Hey, wasn't done with you yet. <laughs> there he is. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> come back here. 
There. No, don't examine it. Oh no, there's another one. No, there's two the whole time. Oh, okay. Creepy, man. They are creepy. Their blood's all acidic. That's what I think. That's what I thought. <laughs> Bitch. Not what I think. <laughs> Alright, last mode disc. They just keep on coming, don't they? I think so. I wonder if they respawn or not. Or I'm just wasting my ammo. I don't want those guys attacking me when I have like the fuel and you're not allowed to run. If you run, you blow up and you die. Yeah. Yeah, I remember I've done you that. To... Mm -hmm. Raise your hand if you've done that. Yep. Yes, I, it, yep. I've done I've that. I've done that. <laughs> it's a habit to run everywhere and then poof, you're dead. They stayed dead in this one? No, maybe. They respawn in the original. The naked zombies. Uh-huh. But I don't remember ever being able to, like, pop their head off in the original either. Mm, maybe not. Ding. Hot, hot pockets ready. <laughs> In my marathons, I used to do Chris and Jill back to back. Oh, I remember. I can't really do that, do that anymore. No. Chris? Jill. Chris? Wesker's the... I know. You finally figured it out. <laughs> I can't open it. Just wait, I'll be back. Okay. At least he tried. Yep. Bless his heart. Do you want to take some health with you? To do what? Fight Tyrant. The first time? Yeah. Mm, nah. Maybe. Just a magnum will do. Where's the fuel thing, is it? Okay, it's in here. The other room's the x-rays for getting cell, which... There's nothing else. There might be like a magazine in there or something. No biggie. There could be a crimson head in here. No? Okay, good. I just remember like coming back with a fuel and then a crimson head attacked me. Hmm. Somewhere. It sucked. Really bad. Yeah, because you can't run or anything. No. Do not I heard let. Something. <laughs> do not let me run, dude. I think it's, yeah. I think it's the roaches. Oh, oh, okay. And plus, I'm in yellow. I need to fix that. Do not run. <laughs> do not run. No run. I think our next game will be PT. Mm -hmm. And I would really like to play Zelda Link to the Past. Uh, I'll even let you play if you want. That'd be fun. Or we could take turns. We I've never a, played. You'll need a guide pulled up like at all times because I'm like a complete yeah. noob. I haven't played a Link to, Link to the Past in 20 years. The only two Zelda games I've ever beat was Ocarina of Time and Majorca's Mask. You never beat Link to the Past. Mm -mm. And I never beat um, Breath of the Wild or... Whatever that other new one was. Breath of the Wild's amazing. Tears of the Kingdom's even better. Yeah, I played Breath of the Wild for a little bit, but didn't beat it. Yeah, that'd be a long one, though. That's like a 50-hour game. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to do that one. a long one. one. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be like our 11, where it's like 20 parts. It is 10.30. Why are you still in pajamas? Oh. 
Um, you are out. Well, you just have one pill now, but you are out. They had it ready yesterday, but it was your birthday, and we went to Hoagie's, and I forgot. Zoe, so it, it is 10.30. I woke you up an hour ago. Oh, kids but get in cool. trouble. Well, yeah. Okay, I put the gas in. We're allowed to run again. But we have to go back there to press the button. I think the chimeras are dead. At least the ones out here. So I guess they stay dead. I guess so. That's good to know. I better be careful. Oh no, you're in red. I'm out of here. I'm getting health. Yeah, and you haven't saved in a while. I know, that's why I'm, <laughs> right. I'm out of here. They keep, I guess they do respawn. Or you just haven't killed those ones yet. Maybe they were in the vents somewhere. I don't know. But I'm not pushing it. I was gonna get ready for the tyrant fight anyways. Yeah. Just do it now, I guess. First things first, we're gonna save. Heal and then save. Magnum! Almost there, man. Almost. I feel it. That's your first time to save in the lab. Yeah, that's kind of scary. Yeah, <laughs> you've been down there 45 minutes. Yeah, I was getting a little scared. I was like, ah, I'm out of here. Does the assault shotgun do more damage than the other shotgun? I know it holds more. I don't know about more damage. They feel about the same to me. So have you decided if you want a new Mac or do you want a normal PC? Have you decided yet? Um, I have to research whether I can still play Final Fantasy 11 and 14. They, they work. And Dark Souls and EU4 and Trucker. And that's about all I it, play. It will in so parallels. Yeah. Parallels will let you <laughs> play pretty much anything almost. I think I want a Mac. I would. They're pretty good. The Assault Shotgun does inflict a bit more damage and oh, can really? be shot more quickly and holds 10 shells. So, so it, is, it, is, it is So don't use the old one anymore. Yep. Okay, I started the thing. I'm and gonna, I'm and it says the it. assault shotgun is the only one that can decapitate a zombie. Oh, really? Yeah. Because I know, yeah, you're right. Because the other one, I never, I was so bitched about that. Definitely use that one, yeah. They want to do the crimson head thing, and they so they got rid of the popping heads. Yeah. Easily. They keep, they keep respawning. I'm out of here. I know I missed something in the ground in there, but that's okay. Now I just have to decide whether I want um, a Mac Mini or an iMac. I do Mini. That way you have different monitors of you of your choice. Yeah, I, I really do like having two screens. Yeah, I'm yeah. telling the new M2 processors are really nice. Mm-hmm. Very power efficient. The only thing I'm not going to use is the Mac mouse, though. I'm not a fan. No, you don't use the Mac. You can use whatever mouse you want. Our Nora, she loves the Mac mouse, and she's, like, really good at it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I was watching her play The Sims yesterday, and she's, like, all over that mouse. <laughs> yeah. Chris! Get back up. I saw you in the inner garden. Caught up. She must be really slow. Well, I'm glad you're <laughs> been here for like an hour. <laughs> I know you always say the lab is only like 15 or 20 minutes long, but it really isn't. It's long. <laughs> That's my plan, sir. It feels like 20 minutes, but it's like 30 minutes of opening doors and 30 minutes of actual <laughs> gameplay. <laughs> right. <laughs> 30 minutes of me going back to the item chest. It's worse with Chris. Now you know why I always play Jill. Cool. 
There was not shotgun shells here in the original. That's new. Wesker wasn't there. Did I really kill him? <laughs> oh no, he's here now. Oh, okay. He's on the hallway Lisa anymore. Because Lisa pushed him off. <laughs> yeah. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course, you are one of my men. That's kind of gay. Thanks. <laughs> you are one of my men. <laughs> <laughs> so you've come. You made me proud. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, I can really take it out of context. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrellas. No, rather, my little piggies. The tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place. And unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. <laughs> you killed them with your own dirty hands. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, yes, dear. Just like this. Don't do that. That's mean. Don't move. You. I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you. He needs more combat data. That's right. You always call him inside out, man. Well, yeah, because, I mean, his heart's on the outside. <laughs> and the original Chris Roy would say, the ultimate failure. I missed the cheesy voice acting in the first one. The ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. D Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. Yeah, I saw that coming. Mm -hmm. Where should I shoot him at? <laughs> Maybe the huge beating heart <laughs> on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> Think so? Switch to the Magnum. <laughs> no, I'll go ahead and use my shotgun because I'll save the Magnum for the last fight. Well, you won't use 30 rounds in the last fight. Oh, they put a fence here. I forgot about that. Not cool. They tricked me. Let's go here now. How mean are they? Where are you? I'm pressing the button. Is he stuck? Oh, there he is. What the hell? What are you doing, man? Oh, cool. Observation note. The discovery of the G-Virus was, in fact, 21 years after the administration of the... I think I'm reading this when I'm being chased by a tyrant. Uh-huh. He can wait. The prototype parasite, which has been delivered from a laboratory in France, was administered in the uh, sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without knowing, showing any signs of adverse reaction. I wonder if they had like four in mind when they made this, because four was not even out yet. That's like years away. So maybe they were thinking about it. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me now. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen body for 21 years. And then from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated, evolved from a more appropriate word to describe it. This ob observation gave me more insight in my research through further modification and testing. <laughs> the panicking music. <laughs> I know. It's making me want to read faster. <laughs> I was able to de derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This is the... <laughs> Imagine like, having an audiobook with this music in the background. I was like, Paul Paranoid. This was the breakthrough... That would change the feature of Bell's history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoyance. Oh, cool, Veronica. Yeah. Annoying face when I finally announced my research. But unfortunately, I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. 
That was funny. <laughs> Hold on, I have to read this. <laughs> Hold on. I have to read this. <laughs> I guess I could have read it after I killed him, but you could have, I was but afraid <laughs> that maybe it'll go away or something. <laughs> what a pathetic way to die. Anything else here? Nope. <laughs> that, was <laughs> that was really funny. Rebecca. So she's wearing a bulletproof vest, but Enrico wasn't, apparently. Right. Chris. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. Okay. If you don't pick her up, uh, is it over for her? <laughs> so many questions. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna save it one more time just in case. I would. Because that last battle can be kind of a bitch sometimes. Especially in the old one. The old one it kicks my ass. Me too. Chris? What is it? I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. To so show yeah, us right. Going. Right. The show must I'll go on. <laughs> I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. Brilliant writing, this one. <laughs> yeah. Resident Evil's not known for the storyline. <laughs> Uh, hmm. I guess I'll just like. No, Magnum only. What are you doing? Uh, you never know. I mean, the the ads along the way. You know, mm. I, I can rock some health. Magnum only. <laughs> I'll take the full mix. Save. Yeah. Kind of sad it's over. Great game. Nah, this game sucks. I hate it. <laughs> After about a hundred times, just kind of loses its charm. Right. Do not recommend. <laughs> I love those reviews online where they've played for a thousand fucking hours. Would you recommend? They say, <laughs> no, nah, I can't recommend this. I don't give a fuck if <laughs> what you say. If your game says a thousand hours played, it's got to be recommended. Yes, absolutely. Because you dedicate... Oh, I should have I should top my health off. Yes, you should. It means you've played the game for a thousand hours. Obviously, you liked it. Unless, of course, it's like an MMO and they dramatically change it in a bad update or something. Then that makes sense, I guess. It's like, well, I used to love it, but not anymore because they did this update and now it sucks. Right. That makes more sense. Because a lot of people would argue 11 is kind of like that. Some argue differently. Some like the new updates, some don't. And most change so much. That's why I think it's best to have servers that's old school and servers that are for the new school. Yeah. If you make that dramatic of, of changes. Mm hmm Because I love New 11 because, like, I can do anything I want, even if you're not playing. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, I farmed Dynamis all last week by myself, and you would never be able to do that, yep. like, 10 years ago. That's true. I can experience the things in the game that I've never got to because I didn't have high enough characters or enough friends. Yep. Oh, what the hell? That's stuck on the thing there. Not cool. 
Sometimes the camera angle gets the best of you in this game. Mm -hmm. Did he hurt me? I hope not. No, oh, I'm good. good. I, I did save it, right? Yes. <laughs> that girl says the same thing over and over. Deactivating, Deactivating and releasing all locks. It's, it's like the <laughs> office space. Thank Just you for calling. Moment. Just a moment. <laughs> not driving you nuts. Yes. Hearing that girl all day long. Yes. <laughs> um, Jill, the door's been unlocked for like ten minutes yeah, what now. What are you doing in here? What are you doing? <laughs> Jill, sorry I made you wait. I knew you'd come. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Whenever I didn't save Chris and there there was an explosion, you're like, look, there's Chris's arm because you left him. Oh, I know. <laughs> we have a video montage of, of your, your epic <laughs> failure. I beat the game. It's great, though. <laughs> and I had a lot of fun. That's all that matters. <laughs> Deactivating. <laughs> releasing all locks. But Jill didn't hear that. No. Deactivating? Huh? <laughs> What's this all about? I just don't understand. <laughs> I don't get it at all. I don't get it at all. <laughs> Deactivating. Releasing all locks. <laughs> what? Huh? What? I don't get it. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here. Yeah, I'm just going to sit here and contemplate. Wait for Chris to come save me. Well, we need room for one spot, but I guess we can go ahead and put this up for you. Yes, put it up. Put it up. Are they dropping bowling balls upstairs? That's what it sounds like. You have one item available. Three minutes to detonation. The self destruct system's activated. Good work. Brad's up in the helicopter. Those things are coming. I'll take care of them. But, Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Maybe later okay. with the uh, Jill and Becca, we have a Chris sandwich. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> He's thinking about that right now, actually. Hmm. I think they'd be into it. <laughs> <laughs> After what happened today, I don't know. Maybe not anymore. <laughs> maybe give us some time. Or on the other hand, maybe they're like, you know what? Life could end tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is no time for that. Uh-oh. He figured out how to use the elevator. <laughs> That'd be funny, Phil. <laughs> it, it would. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. 
You can fuck up right here and kill one of them on accident if you don't. Oh no! Do it. Yeah. It's happened to me before. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Barry died. Oh yeah, I remember when you played as Jill and Barry died right there. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh no. I don't want to kill Rebecca right here. I feel terrible. Make sure it's equipped. Shoot him in the butt. Because I was letting Barry shoot him to save some ammo or whatever, and that was. Oh, like, yeah, bad idea. Oh, I'm reloading. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. He hit you twice. Heal. I don't want him to hit Rebecca either. I sure in the face. <laughs> <laughs> that would be horrible. Her head like explodes. And she runs right she in front of me. She ran right in front of you. <laughs> she must have passed, failed that day in class. You don't run in front of gunfire. <laughs> Please don't kill Rebecca. After all I've done for her. I love how the rocket launcher takes up one spot just like a key. Oh no. No, wait, no one liner? Game over. <laughs> like Jesse Pinkman. Bitch. There you go. That's <laughs> where Sheva says that in five. She does. <laughs> There's no subtitle though. You, you, it's not no. confirmed. But I'm pretty sure she says, I heard it. Eat this bitch or something like that. <laughs> he's a lot easier than this one compared to the original. Original, he's like really, really tough. Mm hmm. Especially if no auto aim. Oh god. Oof. It's awful. Boom. She's dreaming of sandwiches. <laughs> I liked how in Dead Rising at the mall there was a shop named Jill's Sandwiches. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> They had to have been fans. Well, it was Capcom that made it. But yeah, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> awesome job. Uh, do you get a ranking in this one? If I do, it's really horrible. <laughs> I took my time. You didn't use any health sprays, I don't think. I did one time, I think. And I saved a crap ton. It'd be a terrible ranking, and I didn't beat it fast at all. So if there is a ranking, it's bad. He needs a rock song right here. Yeah. Like the original one, not, not Dredger's Cut sucks. The music blows. Oh, it's not that bad. And you guys talk about how horrible the music is. Dredger's Cut's not horrible. that bad. It's horrible. It's really bad. <laughs> they, they made this music worse. I love her nemesis outfit. You got a lot for her. Mm-hmm. I still prefer the Jill playthrough. Barry's the man. Made on the earth. <laughs> Great game. It was. Chris, <laughs> five you hours. did a fine job. Almost six Chris, hours. you did a fine job. I don't know about that. I would, I would argue differently. <laughs> Survival mode. Item box are no longer linked. Fuck that. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. And then the aiming to manual. That's how they originally intended the game to be like back in the day. All, all the chests were not linked, and there was no aiming. Yeah. That'd be horrible. I don't think there is a ranking. 
You just get like unlockables depending on how you do. Like this, like that one guy who walks around, like a zombie walks around with grenades and you can't shoot him or he'll blow up and you die. Right. Yeah, well, that was a good game. Glad you watched. It was a good game.